Welcome to A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. Samantha's here. Butler's here. The tank. I mean, it's just so good, man. Yeah, it's better the, than it's ever. It's better than ever. We got we lost uh, a carrot, though, didn't we? Well, I think it was a test carrot. I think okay. he put it in there just to kind of see where things are going. Yeah. And it failed. And it oh. failed, it yeah. failed miserably. But we have a new addition. Uh, Big Dory runs the tank still. Um, it's her tank. But the newest guy in the tank that I feel like is making the tank are our our uh, our. We have a saltwater fish tank in our studio that you can watch on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Tom and Dan Live. Even if you don't want to look at our ugly faces, you can look at our fish. And we have a little red brown starfish that I've named Billy Red Brown. And he, it's he's made the best. your a week. Well, you he, love he greets the me. Uh, we have a guest here. Mo DeWitt is here. Mm. Uh, Mo, he greets me. He climbs to the top of the tank and he looks at me and I wave to him and he doesn't have a brain or blood, but we have a bond. How much to eat the starfish? <laughs> like seriously? Oh my god! A that's our friend. Over? Your friend? He's, there's no friend there. I mean, he's yeah. a friend on the show. I call him Billy Red Brown. Yeah. But if this place burned down tomorrow, I wouldn't care. <laughs> uh, everybody knows that, right? <laughs> to take it out and just crunch it. What up? if just one of its arms? No, all of it. You have to eat. Because I think all. if I eat one of his arms and put him back in in a week, it'll I grow think back. It'll yeah, grow yeah, back. yeah, it does come. Okay, back. how much just to eat one, one of, of his Billy arms? Red Brown's arms? Yeah, 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 to bite it off. Oof. 1800 cash. Wow. That's surprisingly cheap. 1800 cash. Well, I'm, I looking, may be I'm, able looking, to get at, I'm looking at a few <laughs> things I just want to buy. Yeah, that's like a price of something. I, I kind of want to uh, yeah. call your uh, you know. Call my bluff on yeah. that? Uh, you can go over to Seminole Power Sports and uh, help me get into a new motorcycle is what I'm looking for. <laughs> a little motorcycle monies. Our lawyer, Mo DeWitt, is here. How you doing, Mo? Doing well. How you guys doing? Good. Good. Oh, um, hold on. Uh, legally, I got to. Uh, well, I didn't mm. want to do that. Legally, I got to do this. There we go. I got to do a big one. Injured on the go, just call mo.com. Indeed. Uh, oh, speaking of that, if I paid Daniel or bet Daniel 1800 bucks to eat uh, a portion of that starfish, and then he, like, it's poison, you know, like, he does top have shelf. a shrimp allergy. He might have a starfish allergy. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. no, trust me, I don't have a starfish allergy. Like, uh, top shelf's like, no, Damn! that's. And they're like, that's one of the most poisonous starfish in the world. <laughs> like, we didn't know. Oh my God, you're eating the notorious Billy Redbird. What's Red the Brown? liability and, here? And then we were like, oh, well, you didn't tell us. And then they would be like, we didn't think well, anybody on. would eat it. Hold on a <laughs> right. You're right. I feel like this is an attractive nuisance, especially in this in this place, because yeah. Sean, our tech, and he's yeah. the best. Yeah. He's from Jamaica. We love that guy. Top Shelf Aquatics. He should give us a little thing like, don't eat this one. You can eat this one. <laughs> this one. Like, I feel like we should yeah. get a list of. So first, can um, we sue Top Shelf Aquatics? Mm. And then second, can Andrea sue me for betting Daniel to eat the poisonous starfish? First of all, I'd just like to point out, mm. I don't think we've ever started a show without a gambling question. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> no, no. Uh, is true. This is kind of more of a lawsuit <laughs> question. The gambling is just yeah, part of the story. The, yeah, that's just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just, it's involved, you know, uh, you know, I'm trying to make it real, because yeah. that scenario could actually happen. It could. It could. I would say you can sue anyone for anything. This is America. <laughs> um, I doubt you could... I mean, you could try to sue Top Shelf aqu Aquatics, but I think that's probably very difficult. Why would we do that? They're so good to us. Uh, yeah. Well, I just want money. <laughs> that's oh, all, that's all the only okay. reason. The only reason. I don't think anyone would find it reasonable that they need to provide a warning that the starfish was poisonous. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, they wouldn't yeah. really have any sort of notice that someone was going to eat it. Yeah, yeah. Th there's no expectation that someone would eat the starfish in their saltwater fish tank. I mean, can people can look at starfish and not want to eat them? I kind of want to eat them. I kind of want to too. I mean, <laughs> yeah. that's the first thing I thought of when I saw them. I was yeah, like, yeah, I'd yeah. like to eat that thing. Yeah, yeah. I I think of chocolate starfish. Uh, limp is good. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. All right. Yeah, yeah. Off to a good start. Well, are we still in the warm up? I don't know where we're at. <laughs> where are we at? No, yeah. past that. Oh, the warm up no. didn't help me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, it never helps me. Yeah, I know. All right, sorry. So um, and then Andrea could try to sue you, I guess, for trying to tempt him into this bet. But I think it would probably me. be an, he bullied me into uh, doing it. <laughs> he wasn't well, tempting no, me. No, tempting, I just offered tempting you. Tempting leading leading me to believe that that he dangled something and on my own, you know, powers, I I floated over to it. No, I did it because he was using his great influence to hold down my career, and he masturbates in plants. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Chris Campmeyer on yeah. the stand yeah. uh, saying, like, I, he, I he's know the it. mastermind, this guy. <laughs> the little one doesn't know nothing. <laughs> that's a tr that's an actual quote. Uh, uh, so, Mo, another question I have. Um, I got, Can't wait. I, uh, I told the story on some show. I think it was the BDM show. They all week. run together. Um, about uh, selling my brother's dirt bike finally. <laughs> Me and my sister sold it. 
Um, it, we could have sold it to Costa Rican teens. Um, that's tiny where teens, we got Costa Rican yeah. tiny teens. They, huh? Their feet didn't touch them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to hold ground. the dirt bike uh, while I got on to test yeah. drive. It. I feel like this is almost like just mm. a worse version of buying <laughs> beer for a minor, right? Like right. it kind of feels. I mean, that one way. of them drove there, so I assumed they were sixteen, but they were tiny. Yeah, and they he were said teens. Costa Rican tiny teens, yeah, like yeah. young. But I feel young, like slight boys, Costa Rican men l just look younger because of their skin tone. Yeah. And they just I mean, they look tropical oils. In I their mean, skins. they look 12 years old. But Jeez, like, like yeah. I said, they I mean, drove white, but white people age like wizards. Like we <laughs> yeah, look yeah, yeah, yeah. horrible. I have no idea. We look so gross. I got two questions for you, Mo. Um, and this has to do with and this is good information for everybody, because a lot of people sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace mm -hmm. and Craigslist. And, we're, and a lot of people don't. Like me, <laughs> you know, yeah, non trash. Then there's yeah. the non trash yeah. that you know. We, so we go to places called stores <laughs> and <laughs> what Amazon. So <laughs> anyway, um, I have two questions. One, because I did think about this, it crossed my mind as the one of the teens was rocketing down a gauntlet of uh, Winter Park cars because they, yep. uh, my sister lives in Winter Park and the cars parked on both sides of the street or whatever. So it's like a very narrow way, and he was. And he obviously yeah. didn't know what he was doing. No like helmet. Diagon Alley. <laughs> <Yeah. You> know, <laughs> and he was just like, like, <laughs> like going down <laughs> yeah. the street. Um, and How then are I was you like, feeling at this time? You're nervous, right? Well, I did think to myself, like, what if, because he obviously doesn't know what he's doing. Like, what he's if driving, the, yeah, he's the front tiny. wheel of that dirt bike hits the car door and he goes through the passenger side door <laughs> yeah. head first, no helmet? Yeah. And there's a bunch of, uh, like, families playing in the driveway. Yeah. Like, and I was like, what if I'll this never kid... forget the day I watched that kid uh, yeah. die in front of my house. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good job, Tom. And, like, and, and, so if he does ram into someone's car or, you know, like, uh, all... All, anything that could happen i was like who is it me is it on me because he, he's test, he hasn't bought it yet from us he's test driving it because yeah. he wanted to ride I think a dirt you gotta, bike. Yo, this guy stole my <laughs> you, know, you gotta go into that whole so, thing so uh question number one uh am i responsible for him uh crashing into someone and then question number two after we sold it which we did um, and do I have any liability or my sister have any liability to whatever happens to him after like seven second rule, uh, right? <laughs> you know, like after he bought it, um, should I have like, uh, checked his driver's license or whatever? Did you photocopy anything? Is there any, photocopy? Is there any, <laughs> record? <laughs> what? any record of a transaction no, at all? No. Did you take a picture of his face and his feet? No, or my, like, well, my sister's like, I, tattoos? I have to take the top of the title off to, and I'm like, don't be a nerd. You don't have to do that. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to do that. <laughs> and I'm like, I've never done yeah. that. Yeah, I've Take never the done top that of the title, I just give them the whole thing and I put yeah, one dollar. Like, anyway, so uh, questions. So, whoever <laughs> owns the vehicle can be liable. So, the vehicle is still titled in your name. So, if he crashes, is it your into name somebody, or your sister's name? Oh, it's my sister's name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, oh, I'm sorry, Jen, but for my company, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah I'm just so, really yeah. happy. Uh, yeah, but typically, whoever owns the vehicle can be responsible. So, I mean, I had a case one time, I think it actually might be from a listener where. The guy had just, um, he was out of the car dealership. He was buying a car, got late at night. They said, come back tomorrow. We'll finish the transaction the next day. He was driving home, got in an accident, and the car dealership very quickly, basically fraudulently transferred the title into his name because they didn't want to be liable. Oh, that night? Uh, they yeah. told Susie, like, get in there, transfer yeah, the title. Exactly. Yeah, okay. I'm in Applebee's right now. Hit <laughs> 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 it's TGI Fridays. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if... If the title was in your sister's name and he got into an accident, she could be liable. Once that vehicle is sold to him and the title's transferred, then you would no longer have any liability. Now, were they actually over eight, 18? He has no idea. Oh, no idea. Mo, he, he couldn't talk to them. They didn't know English. English. They didn't know English, yeah, 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 yeah. How did this transaction take place? It, like, I mean, in all front of his transactions, yeah, yeah, yeah. he goes to a shady, like, uh, like undisclosed yeah, yeah. location. He brings cash. They bring guns in their butt ass. And mm -hmm. it's, it's Wild West. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Uh, and uh, ask uh, your nanny, uh, Elizabeth, who used to be our nanny, uh, the fact of how good my Spanish is, because the first three months of her living at my house, every time like she would do something for me, I, and I think I was saying thank you, I was saying nice to meet you. <laughs> 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 what? For three months. Uh, what were you saying? I, I, um, I had to say nice to meet you in why Spanish. Not, why weren't you just saying gracias, which is thank you, I believe. Like, look, I don't know Spanish at all, I think, but I think gracias is, like, I'll, legit the first word so, I know. Yeah, right, yeah, I know, but I was saying, like, I wanted to say, um, like... Me namo, me namo. Anyway. Me namo yeah. is. So, and... Tumos. 
the the next question, do I have any responsibility or my sister for- You were saying mucho gusto, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was saying mucho no. gusto. Right? No. Mucho gusto, mucho gusto, <laughs> yeah. mucho gusto. And I think I thought that meant like, um, not thank you, but like, you I know, appreciate it. You grew it. up in, ta- in, I was going to say in Tampa, in Miami, <laughs> no, what no, happened? No, no. You no, look like you grew up in Tampa. <laughs> I look at you every day. I'm like, this, <laughs> I'm like, this guy I is I, Tampa as it comes. <laughs> don't look Miami, that's for sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> because I'm too lazy to learn things. <laughs> so, um, uh, do I have any responsibility for selling a dirt bike to an underage kid? Well, if he's underage, he can't enter into a contract to purchase the dirt bike from you. Uh oh. So there's a whole other slew of issues well, there. Again, we're talking about your sister here. No, no. Yes, well, yes. Your sister's done all sorts of things wrong. Well, yeah. So if you're under 18, but what if, like, to, uh, I think to purchase a dirt bike, it, you have to be over 16. I think, like, 16 is the age. I don't know the rules. Uh, because usually it has, like, a do not, is like a 16 with a crossbuster on most. Oh, I always uh, thought that meant to just for, like, you know, <laughs> I think that's you know. <laughs> Well, I think that's for riding, not for actually like registering it and owning it. Right. You know oh, I'm really? Okay. Yeah, so, that's right. the difference. So, so I can't even legally sell something to a 16-year-old. Typically, not without a parent or guardian because they can't. They don't oh. have the ability to enter into a contract. <laughs> oh my God. To Hold on, this it got more real than I, I have, expected. This is more real. <laughs> and I I get, apparently, the next thing you know, I'm going to have to shut down my <laughs> teen parties I've been having in the afternoons. Uh, so I like to DJ. So I guess signing over a title to someone under the age of 18 is not even uh, legally binding, anyway. Typically, unless they, you know, unless they have a parent or guardian to. to gotcha, do it for them. gotcha. So I should have checked their age before. Well, probably we, a good idea. Oh, okay, all right, all right. I thought it was the age old. Uh, don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you just said it. You thought I thought it was the age old. Yes, you could have just stopped right there. Yes, age old is what yeah, you were looking they for. They need to be uh, old. You were not looking for <laughs> age young. But you're an idiot. Like, why would you say that? Well, I think like once they leave with their stuff, like there's no coming back. <laughs> you know, <what> I'm <laughs> no take backs. <laughs> like no well, tag back. Like uh, you know, you can't come back and be like, all right, but, you know. Well, well, how you would you even wrong? find them now? There's no record. I mean, I guess you could get you have their phone number, right? You could get on the internet and start looking up children, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, uh, Mo, I also have some urban legends I want to discuss with you. Um, <laughs> That's what I come here for. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is called changing <laughs> subject quickly. Have you heard after, of Bigfoot? After your attorney I'm says something my sister. I'm like, hey, wrong. I'm like, hey, move your funds. <laughs> As you, put as mama's you, name on the account. Mama, <laughs> they can't take it. That's Mom, what I heard. Oh my God. <laughs> got everything. Yeah, that's the, that's the, as you you got to put multiple names on your bank accounts and they can't take it. As anyway, you can see, that's he what can't I heard. text and talk at the same <laughs> time. So that big space Brain of shut off. quiet was him actually texting his sister to move the funds. <laughs> this is great. All put right. mama's name on the Moving accounts. Moving on. Now, uh, welcome to. Yeah, yeah. Moe's Urban Legends. <laughs> <laughs> Moe's Myths. <laughs> so, uh, and this has to do with car accidents. So, um, I have always heard that if whoever, if you get in a car accident and someone rear ends you, um, it's whoever rear ends you, it's their fault yeah. no matter what. I think my dad was willing to die on that hill. Like, yeah, yeah. He'd be like, no matter what, I have. like <laughs> yeah. anything, like anything yeah. that was happening. If they run into yeah. the back Doesn't of you. Doesn't matter if you brake yeah. check them. A burglar oh, yeah. could be in that car with that woman with a gun to her head saying, rear in that man and she's still <laughs> in trouble. Yeah, 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 yeah. So is that the case? There's a rebuttable presumption if you're the, the car behind it, that's your fault. Okay. But it is rebuttable. So, you know. For instance, if you you know, cut somebody off and then slam on your brakes and they rear end you, that would be a way to rebut the presumption that you know you were not at fault in that case. Gotcha. So there is, I mean, probably harder to prove though, right? That's the problem. You have to have some some other witnesses or some video evidence or something because otherwise it's just one car's story versus the other car's story. Um, I saw an accident the other day, and um, of course, like it was a, a slight fender bender. But the lady that got hit, um, she immediately jumped out of her car and started videotaping everything. And then video- World star. <laughs> World star. 
And then she was videotaping like a, a, a seemingly like skid marks, like and uh, Ew, and yuck. put <laughs> what kind of videos you want, dude? I, I was Ugh. driving slow. Look at this yuck. lady. She was putting her foot next to what I think was skid marks <laughs> behind the car, like as a you know you put a quarter yeah. next to something to show. Look like, at how large these <laughs> skid marks are as for you scale. Can, yeah, as for you can scale. See, I've got a pair of Rothies <laughs> next to them. <laughs> Look at my Rothies next to this skid mark. The ladies love the Rothies. <laughs> and uh, and she, I guess to compile the evidence for some sort of uh, grand lawsuit that and was going to happen or whatever. And as you can see, Judge, this is, yeah, she's yeah. doing one of those things. Very cool. And uh, I never <laughs> think to do that. With anything that goes on, I'm just like, ah. <laughs> but I'm like, how much is, is she being, like, is it overkill? Like, obviously, it wasn't, like, a horrible accident. It was a slight fender bender. So she's just doing seemed, her. I think Andrea would do that. I think my wife would get, get like out. a checklist. Yeah, she put on like a visor. She had like a folder she opens. Some rulers <laughs> out. This is my yeah. roadside <laughs> fender bender checklist. Let's yeah, yeah. see. Put out flares. Got, you know, I'd be like, oh my god. <laughs> just, 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 like, I would have get out of the road. It's like put out a uh, triangle in uh, three <laughs> feet from distance of tire. I'm like, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> so how much of that matters? Um, is it important to like start taking? evidence down for an eventual lawsuit uh i mean what should people i mean like just bare minimum do i mean i always recommend yeah take photos if you can take videos look at the the roadways um picture of the other driver picture of their license plate you know picture of the damage to the vehicles kind of as much as you can get now if you're immediately jumping out of the vehicle and the first thing you're doing is filming everything you're probably not injured in the accident probably none of this is going to matter but you know typically you know sometimes you get soreness or things a few days later so documenting that is always a good idea i mean i've had people before say oh i wasn't the one driving it was somebody else and the, my client was like no that was the guy there so if you have a video of them or a picture of them uh -oh. sometimes that can help gotcha or that i've even been had seth in your truck <laughs> yeah i've had it before where uh the guy gets out of the vehicle after the accident and um, the other person pretends to kind of get out and then just takes off. That's so what I wanted. I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to do that. The old, like, I'm, 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 <laughs> you slam that door and you just hit it. Yeah. Because I think I, I'm convincing enough to be like, I'll be right there. Hold on. I'm getting the paper. Oh, hold on. My wife's yep. calling me. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh like a Freddy Krueger. <laughs> uh, and then if you have video of that, obviously they can't lie and say yeah, this didn't happen. Already. Right. Then you, you, I mean, we had that case a little while ago, and the guy went through a toll booth. Um, you know, right after that, stupid. so we were able to get the the vid uh, the the photo or so video from the toll stupid. booth. Stupid. Gotcha. Why yeah, would you do that? <laughs> what? You got away, man. Uh, I mean, you did it. Didn't think anyone would you check. You did the dream, and then you're like, I don't know. Oh, God, toll booth. I've got to get there quick. No. <laughs> Go slow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, back to me for a second. Of so I, <laughs> <laughs> um, Oh, that's Samantha's favorite segment. I uh, have some questions because my wife brought this up um, oh, about um, uh, BDMs doing work at my house, um, you know, on their off time. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Side jobs, uh, as, as we call it. So yeah, you've had a lot of people are they licensed there. and insured? I what mean, do you think? they're licensed <laughs> by paying pills. <laughs> they have a driver's license. <laughs> they're <laughs> licensed by paying pills and insured to do a forty percent good job. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then it's a, you know they uh, they know what they're doing and but it's you know it's, do they? It's there, they, um, you know. You get a lot of riffraff working out, out back. Crystal has brought up the fact, she's like, what if someone hurts themselves? Well, people and have. Our, and our house, they cut their fingers off with the sauce. <laughs> and then I'm like, hey, they know what they're doing. And then I'm like, if they do do that, they said they'll be cool. They'll just go. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll, be, I'll just be put my, cool, bro. Put my yeah, fingers yeah. in then my pocket. Can, I'll they're leave. like, I'm not going to They're like, you know, I'll just tell the, the hospital and that I did this on my spare I cut my fingers <laughs> off. I'm not going to say a word, man. <laughs> yeah. I put my big golf cup. I'll be out of here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, I just get my Yeti. I'll be on my way. And then Crystal's like, no, they're going to sue us. Yeah, they are. And, and then they're going to sue more. They're going to sue your pants off. Our homeowners They're going to ruin our company for sure. And then I was like, nah, they're cool. 
their founders. <laughs> 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 so, they're gonna be owners of the company soon. Yeah, pretty soon. <laughs> so, uh, how, what's the legality on that? Oh, they're Someone, gonna sue you. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right, okay, yeah. okay. So I shouldn't. You gotta sue them first. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sue your fingers off. Oh, you already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sue your fingers off. Can so, we get Mo shirts that say <laughs> yes? Buy my fingers. We already got those. Yeah, yeah. We'll just put Mo. Yeah, that's Craig's thing. Yeah. That's fine. We use Mo. <laughs> it's for, it's for lawyers We're all about fingers. fingers. <laughs> every slug, everybody, every client we work with is going to have a finger. We're tying it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're tying it in. Bernie, so, uh, finger your taxes. So someone could absolutely sue me if they hurt themselves at my house. It depends um, how they got hurt. You know, I mean, if somebody gets injured on your property, there's always a chance that they could sue you. But they'd have to have some theory of liability to make you responsible, typically, or to make it so that your homeowner's insurance would kick in. Um, so if it, they got bit by a dog at your property, if the dog's included under your homeowner's insurance policy, you know, then you're liable for you it. You don't have or, a dog, so right. that's, that's okay. What if you did have a pest control man fall in your jacuzzi? I think he bumped his head on your no, butt plug. No, like <laughs> he's licensed and insured. That's right. legit. Uh, but let's say they're fixing some electrical problem that some other BDM did. And mm. it blows his shoes off yeah, because yeah. the wi- it's a mess of wires. Or does that move where it hits the ladder and it's it blows a- the guy's eyeballs out of his head? But <laughs> yeah. they're still sort of connected. <laughs> and uh, because of obvious uh, shoddy work that uh, I had at my house that yep. I got from some other uh, uninsured uh, BDM. It does that move where it blows him off the ladder into your pool. They call that the Jurassic Park. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the kid was fine. See, seemingly, it wouldn't be fine, yeah. though. Good thing that pool was there. If there's enough electricity to blow you off a fence that's 20 foot high, yeah. you land on your back on the grass. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're right. not just getting up and yeah. coughing some smoke out, right? Yeah. You're seriously injured. You're, you're dead, probably. <laughs> uh oh. Smoke cough. Sorry. <laughs> oh, anyway. Wow. That's but yeah, if there's a, a hidden danger in your house due to some shoddy work. And somebody gets injured by it, then yeah, you could be liable for that. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll, I'll, let me uh, I'll take look at my, get my glasses. <laughs> look at the next question. We got a lot of texting <laughs> going on there. over there. Um, Samantha, I know we had a question. We did have one um, email. From last um, time. It says, "In short, my son's other parent has been su- on supervised visitations only since 2014, and due to a mess up within the court system, they got to claim dependency from 2018 to 2021, while I just get to claim." earned income credit the other parent has gotten all child stimulus money even though they have zero overnights the irs said i would have to file dependency and they would sort it out but i told them i would be in contempt of court so i contacted mo's office who guided me on writing a motion of clarification the court responded that they do not have jurisdiction in the manner uh in the matter do i need to take the other parent to claims court since they were refusing to give any money that was meant to help with our child so have to see what you wrote in the motion. You might have written it wrong. Because um, typically the, the family law court would have jurisdiction over the tax credit issue. Mm-hmm. And so the tax credit issue, it, you know, right now is what defines those stimulus funds, which have caused a lot of people headaches because we've gotten this question quite a few times. So they're basically saying that we're not going to exercise jurisdiction because the stimulus funds were not defined in the parenting plan, which nobody's parenting plan has that in it because it was never anticipated. Then maybe you have to go small claims if that's what they're telling you that they're not going to handle it and file a small claims action. But I have a feeling small claims court's going to send you back to the family right. law court, <laughs> and they're just going to be this vicious circle. Uh. So I'd probably want to see the motion. You may just have to clarify exactly why you believe they have jurisdiction because the parenting plan assigns the dependency credit, and therefore based on the dependency credit, these funds were awarded. And since you have 100 percent time sharing, those stimulus funds were intended for the child and should have gone to you. I've had courts award that previously. Um, based on you know kind of the last year and a half that we've had all this kind of stuff it seems like anything to do with child support and all that mess, it's a uh, mess. it seems like it's always a one-off scenario that's extremely complicated uh in, in a nightmare just like know? a relationship <laughs> right? it almost mimics the relationship <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, it just seems uh, crazy complicated. And it's like, you know, it's this state and this, you know, there's that. And then one small change can screw everything up. That's why I just don't give anything. Oh, uh, I'm just like, I'm not paying this child support. Here's a Daniel question (laughs) um, uh, that uh, we talked about. So, uh, Daniel, he got a chest tattoo 
and he's not uh, wearing the chest part of a seatbelt because it uh, hurts his baby tees. Wait, can I get out of wearing a seatbelt too? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, hurts I me mean, too. Yeah, well, it probably hurts you more. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, Daniel was next to a police officer. I and, was. And he looked at me and I looked at him, and then we were doing a lot of like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so Daniel brought up the fact he's like, well, if I got pulled over for not wearing my seatbelt, which you can nowadays. Back in the day, you yeah. say they have to they have to pull you over some for something else, right? And it used then to be a secondary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was just a thing. Yeah, yeah, if they see you not wearing it, people pull don't you over. know that either, by the way, and they think that's crazy. But that's it. Oh yeah, you can yeah. Google that. So if, Dan- thing. if Daniel got pulled over and he had his lap belt on, does that count as a seatbelt? If, if your lap belt's on, or yeah, does he have to have, have any the, wiggle room there? Or does he have to have the full? Like chest uh, part of the seatbelt for it to count illegally, or is this maybe a uh, I'm running the hey be respectful card and that's the direction it's gonna go? Maybe I I think you're probably right on that one. So you'd have the the chest part behind behind you. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you're still you have the seatbelt on. Is it the way it was intended to be worn? No, but it is technically on. I mean, you probably have to ask a police officer if they would issue a, a ticket for that. I don't know what probably, the statute says other than you have to wear a seatbelt. It's probably case by case, too. And I, couldn't they I, – I could see them making some point like where you had it, and yes, you did engage it, but it wasn't done properly. You know, like you, you're – it's you, almost like you're not – but I think if you have a classic car, I've heard this from my Uncle Randy. Oh, I love it. Classic, <laughs> classic car guys have yeah, 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 They're yeah. like, a metal, uh, if you have a metal dash, you don't need a seatbelt. I'm like, hold on a second. That sounds worse. That doesn't yeah. make any sense. I heard this but before from an old man. They, dumb old man. Yeah, yeah, a dumb old man told me <laughs> that a classic car is because they only had lap belts in the 60s yes. or whatever. That that counts as you a- You can cut out the <laughs> shoulder belt. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Under the classic car rule, uh, you only need a lap belt- have you heard about that? The old classic car. Well, I mean, I think you're supposed to wear whatever seat belt is designed with the vehicle. So mm. if, there, if the if the vehicle has only a lap belt in it, then that's probably allowed, I would assume. Butler's truck um, has a butt plug in it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's for safety purposes. Yeah. He doesn't wear it the way he should. Mm. Um, so, and we'll end with this because I kind of half joking about, uh, taking the top part of the title and then turning it into the DMV and telling them that you no longer own the vehicle or whatever. I seriously have never done that just because I assume that when they register it, it'll automatically do like too lazy to go there myself. But then every like once in a while, a hotel key. You know, yeah, like yeah, at, no at the end of a stay, yeah, my yeah. wife gets so mad at me. When we left the Dominican Republic, I'm like, we're taking these home as souvenirs. She's like, <gasps> the card? Oh, the yeah, key. you keep the card. And no, oh, my no. wife's like, you must take those back to the desk. They reuse those. The whole and I'm like, are you an insane <laughs> person? I'm not stopping back at the desk. Yeah, we're no, just no. walking out of here. We paid. Yeah, yeah. As long as it's a plastic card. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's how I feel about this. Yeah, it's yeah. like the same thing. It's just a step, unnecessary step. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but then, of course, you hear the stories of like, oh, uh, my cousin sold a car and then they got in an accident and they were sued because technically they hadn't uh, changed it in properly, the, right. even though they had signed over the title and stuff. And I was like, ah, I'm like... I feel like more of that would happen, and and that would be like you would have to rush out to the DMV to make sure you tell them. Like you know, people would tell you like, "Hey, make sure to rush to the DMV," and no one tells me that, so that's how I live my life. I'm just yeah. like, uh, you know, I've never heard that. Uh, besides from super cautious people, like, oh yeah, just in case, you know. Anyway, what do you think, Mo? Well, I mean, the purpose of that is so if someone doesn't register it for some reason, which you you're taking the assumption, okay, they're going to go register it. They want to own the, the the vehicle or whatever it may be. But I did have someone contact me a little while ago who said he sold an RV four years ago, and the guy never registered it, and now he's getting tickets or something or, or something in the mail. So that's always the issue is that's why you want to turn in the top por- portion so it's no longer in your name is the idea, essentially. Gotcha. They, you can confirm that they're going to register it with the, with the DMV. The Twitch chat room, twitch.tv slash Tom and Dan live, if you want to watch us Monday through Friday every single day, says there's a little box, and you just pop it in the box, and you're good to go. Oh, they just like outside of the DMV. You That's put it in the said. DMV so box, like a little box, and you just pop it in the box, and they'll take care of the rest. I don't know how true that is. <laughs> we gotta drive there. <laughs> like, you know what? I'll, I'll, do <laughs> uh, I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. We didn't even take the top off. I just we gave it to oh, the teens. <laughs> the whole thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew we that. That's why I asked. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I just wanted you to have to admit that. I wanted you to have to admit that in front of our attorney. 
So, uh, anyway, if you are injured by uh, a Costa Rican teen on a dirt bike <laughs> this weekend, uh, you should call Mo. Uh, I don't know if he wants you to do that now because he's going to know where, like, he's going to be put two and two together. He's going to be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but there's a legitimate lawsuit here. <laughs> like, so, yeah, you know. Yeah, but against you. What, yeah, I know, but Mo doesn't discriminate. <laughs> like, that's his client. Like, like, I don't even know like, what's happening right yeah, now. Like, Mo, I assume he's uh, bound. He took an oath. <laughs> so Did so, he? I don't know Yeah, you put your hand on the Bible when you become a lawyer. I didn't know that. That's yeah, pretty cool. Right? That's we should do that around here. Look at Mo, and Mo's uh, like, uh, 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 yeah, You do some oath, right? I have right? never you heard that. Oath. I have never heard that attorneys at the end of their, like, all right, they just Bible time. Law school, bro. <laughs> hey, everybody, you guys did a great job. No, hey, class of 99. I, I mean, wait, wait a minute, time. wait a minute. Tom's telling Mo how to be a lawyer. Everybody get your Bible out, put your hand on it. There's some oath involved, right? There's got to be an oath. I've never heard of No oath? I think you're thinking of doctors. I just took a four-hour course on Google. Oh, no, there's some oath. It's a moth. <laughs> no, when they, when they, you pass the bar, there's some ceremony and the oath. Graduation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's an oath involved. Something you He's put telling you there's not. He's yeah. a lawyer. He said I'm going to believe Mo. Well, there, there is actually an oath. I knew there was, there was an oath. oath. Oh, Tom doesn't know nothing. I know my oaths. <laughs> this is a great day. <laughs> Just call Mo.com. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mo. <laughs> Hello, this is your Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke-heavy, and just right. Thanks. Welcome to the Friday free show of a mediocre time. It's wife titty Friday. Yep. Oh, yeah. Wife titty Friday. I think, buddy. Crystal, you turned my headphones all the way down because I don't hear anybody. <laughs> No. Oh, oh already got a cat no, fight in there. <laughs> no. These bitches are already fighting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, snarf, snarf. Oh. They set the room too long. Yeah. Too many crows. Yeah. I didn't know which knob to turn. Oh. Just turn a knob. Yeah. The cycles will yeah. start aligning. <laughs> <laughs> Is that real? We got the clock sisters. Yes, it is real. It's very real. That's not real. It's real. No, that ain't real. That happened, happened to... They're mansplaining periods that. to us. Next you're going <laughs> to tell me. Yeah. 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 Well, then, next okay. you guys are going to tell me these uh, vaccines work. <laughs> I never knew what mansplaining was until just now. I always thought mansplaining meant that you spread your legs real wide and your balls <laughs> fall out. That's manspreading. Splaining, it's different. spreading, whatever. Welcome to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. Our wives are here. Uh, we're doing a little bit of a weird Friday free show because uh, we're going to Colorado, so mm-hmm. we'll be out a week. Not we're going to Colorado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. are going yeah, to Colorado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You going to take that shit? Uh, yeah. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't <laughs> let her talk to me like that. Um, so, uh, basically a couple things to plug first sofa and suds this year, November 14th. Indeed. Um, we're, uh, doing a little earlier than, uh, the past because of we how gotta things worked out. We got to get in front of how these things shut down. We don't want another <laughs> Johnny scenario on our hands. Yeah. So we're going to put it out there into the universe, positive energy, and hopefully we can get in and get out. So it's not the weekend before Thanksgiving. It's two weekends before Thanksgiving. So, uh, just mark it down in your calendar. Yes, sir. Um, and. Uh, we've got a bunch of giveaways at uh, some watering holes. Uh, Ravenous Pig, you can go get a mm. BDM pen. I've seen people uh, go to their beer garden and uh, eat dinner it's and lunch. Great. I mean, it, the Ravenous Pig is great. Um, get and yourself a five points IPA and sit there. Or if you're like me, you sit there all afternoon. It's nice. Just watch yeah. soccer or yeah, football. I, I know they've been doing big football weekends. Yeah, it's fun, man. Yeah, And then just ask the bartender at the beer garden for a BDM pen. Mm-hmm. And he'll give it to you for free, and that tells them that uh, we sent you uh, Hollabox. Um, they, uh, of course, have their big Oktoberfest uh, celebrations that are starting in late September. Um, if you go by there, I know we gave Chef Pat some uh, BDM gibbets. 
Um, yeah, so we gave him a, bu- him, a bunch yeah. of those. He loves it when you say hello. Chef Pat's the coolest. In fact, he came out when you were there. With, yeah, uh, so well, it was Macy's recital down there, um, and we went with a bunch of her dance friends, and we were just sitting there, and he brought out a bunch of Kinder eggs, and he... Was like, like the, the god. star, the yeah. god. Like yeah. all these kids were like they're freaking out. Like, she, like he's in his he full chef brought... gear. He's walking around the restaurant yeah. giving like uh, little kids like Kinder eggs. They, they look at it. They're like, oh my god. Oh he's my god, a god rock it's star. Santa. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Kinder Claus. Yeah, good place to go. Also, Hourglass uh, Brewing in Longwood and uh, Hourglass. We got a room. lot of great people we're partnering with yeah. right now, man. So many, too many to list. This place has pinball machines, video games, axe throwing. 40 taps between, I think, no, I think, yeah, I think they have 40. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're always cooking up brand new beer. Live art installations inside. You can see Pabone's art there. You can pick up limited edition art there. Yeah, free. Just ask for a Tom and Dan print and uh, with buying a pint. And you can get one of those for free. Also, they got gibbets there. Um, they've got stuff in their vending machine, Tom and Dan stuff. That's we just, just added. Yeah, we got some magical stuff in there that you can mm. check out. So uh, all that uh, and just put it up on social media. That helps us out. Yeah, share. Uh, we like it when you share like a, 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 a quick photo, even if you don't like being in photos, a quick photo of your hourglass pint glass. And yep. you just tag us in. It goes a very long way with these guys. So uh, our wives are here. How are you guys doing? Hello, wives. Good. Hi. Um, Looking beautiful as ever. Yep, yep. Um, Actually put on real clothes to come and see you. Appreciate (laughs) that. So uh, what do you guys want to talk about? (laughs) (laughs) I'm open for anything. What is a gibbet? Uh, the things I put on my Crocs, those little things. Uh, they're little yeah, charms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're called in your he, croc, croc holes. Hasn't uh, yeah. taken over your house. No, yeah. no, they yeah. got they wear shoes in the van. Tom hates Crocs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, ma- he mandates it. He mandates it. Yeah. Crocs, are, they're so convenient and they're cute on kids. Yeah, yeah, the kids can wear. My wife can wear them. I, you know, yeah, she. Yeah. I mean, nothing, you said that they're I don't want to wear, wear them. Well, nothing. Oh, hold on. I'm not. If you're wearing that umbrella hat, you can wear Crocs. That thing is embarrassing. That's true. That is true. Which it's I, not a hat. It's an umbrella. But you're wearing I just it don't, It's hands-free umbrella. There you go. Hands-free That's all umbrella. It is. Did you buy that purposely? Or yes. Give, oh. I bought it. I sought it out. Here's the thing. I, I used to have this m- metallic um, umbrella that was just for the sun. So when I would go out like to Epcot, I could carry you it. You had a sun umbrella? Yes. I have never met a person that had a sun umbrella. <laughs> no, but it's like metallic. So yeah, it reflects, reflects the sun. Sure. It's cool under there. Okay, yeah, you guys don't know what you're missing. But it's and then, burning everybody else around you because you're just like <laughs> lighting well, them up. Well, they need to get their own sun umbrella. So anyway, that one broke. So I was looking for a new one and I found that instead. And it's amazing. I, it's metallic. It's mm-mm. got a vent. <laughs> and the no, top vent. I didn't show you guys this part, but it inverts. To go up like this, and you're yeah. okay. Oh. Suck the air well, out, so you can put fruit in it. <laughs> it's like a little bowl. Yeah. Yeah. And you're okay yeah. Listen, when I'm this? kayaking or something, I y'all mean, are gonna it, be jealous. Wait, when do you go kayaking? <laughs> Hold done on it. a second. They're they are forever kayaking. Are you crazy? They <laughs> call them the kayak vans. We go canoeing sometimes. Uh, we uh, and I'll be in the shade. Cool uh, as a cucumber. Hey, I'm not anti because I wear Crocs, so I'm cool with it. It's, this guy's hating on everybody's fun. He likes to <laughs> yuck on people's yums. Well, so when I saw it, I go, hey, not for me, but I like the idea of it, and I would try it at least. The straw hats, so that nah, look Nah, rain gets fine. through those. And then they get I, all yeah. warped. <laughs> what? This, this covers, this is over my shoulders, mm-hmm. and it covers the top half of my body. I'm kind of with Crystal on this one. Listen, if I'm at the beach and I got to come out from underneath the sunshade, it's hot. Yeah. It's uncomfortable. Plus, I've seen the quality of your straw hats, sir. <laughs> well, I'm just saying that it's uh, nerdy it's and nerdy. embarrassing. It, it is, is nerdy. nerdy. Yeah. I mean, it's the. I was a little perplexed that you opened it inside. It's a nerd model. No, she's trying I to. I just be... wanted to model for TC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't know I bought it. So I said, look at this. You should have come out nude. Well, I right? knew he was video. I like me. wearing weird. I like wearing cowboy hats. And I do it all the time. Yeah. Nude? Yeah, I just like, it's a funny thing. I like <laughs> to have one item of clothing on that's like a weird item. and like then socks. Be, yeah, like socks and nude or cowboy hat nude or or I'll do suit jacket fully nude and I'll just walk in and Andrea will be standing there and she'll that's what she has to look at. And I'm like, just full tuxedo jacket, but nothing else on. <laughs> if I have socks on while I'm naked, I feel more naked than if I had no socks He on. told me that. He says you sleep with socks on and, yeah. he, and you, he even makes love to you with socks on. <laughs> no, I, make I, take I didn't off. say that. Yeah. I didn't say that. No, I, I take them I off. make love to you with your <laughs> socks on, but I hate it. You, know, you look down, <laughs> it's like looking at two little stuffed animal legs. Yeah. 
And then I'll say, I'm like, is there cream in there? <laughs> what? Like, what? In I the where? Oh. Like, oh. put cream in your sock. Oh. I don't know where you were God. going with that. No. Yeah. You lost me for Vulcan. a second. Like, he can't Old take it off. Sock over here. Remember that guy <laughs> that there. came in here with Monique? The guy with the ranch Tone dressing? Tone oh, X. yeah. Yeah. What was the ranch dressing? Well, anyway, they, they made fun of my feet. Remember? <laughs> You're cracked. Yeah, they said cracked you had heels. cracked heels. He well, said, what is it? <laughs> yeah, and well, it yeah. stuck with me. And so I oh, creamed my man. heels now. What? She was traumatized by Tony. Yeah, X. but I got a, you know, I well, got a, I got a cheese grater in the shower. I cheese grate my feet. Yeah. And then I um, cream them up you before don't wanna, I go to bed. Yeah. You don't want to do what he does. He's got a permanent line in his foot. He's got a lot of issues. Where it cracked and then he got dirt in there and then it, and then it sealed over. It's like sealing a demon. <laughs> it's a tattoo. It's like that's, like that's seal, a Florida it, tattoo. That's like <laughs> sealing a demon behind the, you know, and then yeah. he's like, uh, in a thousand years, I'll re-release myself and <laughs> take like over the world. It's like the kids from like when you were growing up that accidentally stabbed themselves with a pencil and then it I have that. I have the have same thing lead. on my heels. Yeah, I don't lead. think you, I don't think you can live in Florida as a young man or little boy and not have that. Just got to get a cheese grater. Yeah, I, 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 I have one on... Not on my heel, but in the center of my foot, where something happened as a young boy, where I got stabbed with something like it must have been like a stick at Blue Springs or something, yeah. with some black mud on it, and the black mud is still in my body to this day. That black mud, that stain, black from mud. whatever happened as a young man, and it's been there for I ain't never been there for thirty five years. Thankfully, I don't have any. Of that. How does that happen? I don't know. It's a Florida thing. It is a Florida thing. Before we go over some BDM questions, I want to talk about um, a uh, a lifestyle that I fantasize about okay. and uh, engage waterfall your, lifestyle. Well, gauge swinging. Your, Which one no, is it? no, no, no. Yeah. Okay. So what happens? Is this a different one, or is this uh, the, an update on your current obsession with swinging and gambling? It's the same. All But so every time we come in here. You uh. gotta talk about swinging. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not frogging. This is not frog. swinging. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We only have twelve they frog. topics. They've yeah. tried frogging. We tried. We, we don't frog. We have tried. No, we hey, tried frog. We have tried frogging too. <laughs> no, no, oh, that Mother's is Mother's 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 cackling. Oh, oh, no, no, no. That's like telling, uh, like the saying that uh, Tommy's tried riding a bicycle on training wheels. <laughs> like, is that he, he, you don't really try until you take the training wheels off? <laughs> okay, I kind of see what you're saying. <laughs> you know, well, what's your fantasy? It's going to be along these lines, right? I want to get you on the 50-yard line. It's with something I'm not doing right at home. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not that. I'm just saying. Likes, they like to get us in here and be like, this is what I want to change. This, yeah. Just, no, hold on no. a second. Hey. Nobody ever said that. It's you don't, the airing of the grievances. I don't no, believe anybody, no, even, no, I don't believe anybody ever nothing. spoke to you. I'm just. Over there. <laughs> I'm just talking out loud to a bunch of adults in a room. <laughs> about swinging. <laughs> no, not about swinging. <laughs> not even that. No, because I know that's too far and no one's going to be interested in that. Uh, but. You know, I keep thinking. Thinking uh, every huh? night lately, or the last two nights when I lay down, I close my eyes, I think about how Norm died and, uh, and he had a gambling addiction and how he would have been <laughs> worth hundreds of millions of dollars, but he was only worth like maybe two at the end of his life because of his gambling addiction. And uh, I think of oh, you and oh. then I get scared and then I wish myself to sleep. I forgot I mean, you were talking Norm McDonald. Are they, are they, are you say Norm? I just... Yeah, so they got Norm. Yeah. Yeah. No, not our Norm. Norm yeah, McDonald. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I, I went Cheers Norm for a second. Where, yes. What Norm did you go to? Oh, we have a, a, a big fat fatso no, yeah. named Norm. That oh, was, uh, he says he does. <laughs> yeah, you guys were all on night. three different Norm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he sorry. sends you sweet messages. At no, no. He, <laughs> also, he puts Vaseline on his feet at night. Oh, <laughs> and yeah. I, I'm like, gotta keep him clean. Even though uh, Norm McDonald did gamble away a lot of his fortune, um, I'm like, hey, we had fun, right? Still rich, <laughs> yeah. like, but he had like, I mean, that it was his money to lose. Yeah, he was right. doing you know, fine. It he is didn't his, die poor. No, I mean, he's he fine. Is, was doing just fine. Although he didn't have, you know, I think he has a son, you know, but uh, he'll get something anyway. So, <laughs> uh, you know, he's a bad gambler. Yeah, I yeah. heard. Anyway, um, so like uh, we had a uh, first NFL season get together uh, barbecue at my house, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, now this is like, let's say we do this in uh, 20 years or 15 years. Kids are out, you know, it's not, you know, and what we just did, there's too many kids around. It's not appropriate or whatever. But say we do it again in 20 years. <clears throat> and we everybody's sitting there we're watching the NFL, and then we're sitting in the hot tub what, later. And my after wife some just drinks. pulls one tit out. <laughs> no, no. And then w it's like, why not? You know, take our clothes off, <laughs> just get nude. I mean, it in a an who's adult. Who's gonna start it? You? Are you gonna well, be standing there like watching <laughs> and be like? 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, he missed the pass, and you're just gonna gently. <laughs> yeah. Do you like? Do you like open the <laughs> door to the party, dude? Slowly, or do you wait like in the yeah, middle right. of the party? Take How your are you trunks gonna do off? this? I, you, I brought you some snacking sausage, are, and don't do it while you're uh, passing around the snack. Or do you sausage. have a robe on, and then you just disrobe? Well, the, the bottoms are a little aggressive. Uh, I'm just. You just it, want the women to be topless. No, no, I'll get bottomless, but and I'm saying that might be too far. So you're wearing a shirt, and you're bottomless. And the women are wearing pants, and they're topless. What kind of fucked up party is this? You want us to walk around? topless 15 years of gravity from now like you don't well, want it now it's the it's only thing i don't you know <laughs> you get what you get and you don't throw a fit yeah, i tell max yeah. and tommy that all the time <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, ah. the top, I, well, i'm not gonna get it uh, next weekend because there's too many kids I mean, they, it's ridiculous that's never gonna happen i'm just saying i want to open the door to the discussion of that could that happen is that what future? we're doing here is i don't know i see about, people like... live like this and i'm like wow that seems yeah exciting. but they started like that yeah. it's not like they were somebody else and then became people who walk around topless and with boners. I don't think they walk around with boners. <laughs> okay, but I was just referencing that time on the boat that we had. Remember? Which one? Was there a boner? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. boner I don't boat. remember any boners. On the swinger houseboat? Yeah. There were boners on that boat. Yeah, I was really drunk there. I I didn't <laughs> it wasn't a bear one, but I saw a boner. A bear so. boner? I've never seen it a bear. It wasn't bear. It wasn't bear. Oh, like is in his swim trunks? Yeah. Oh. Well, the girl, the, the other, the swingers were topless, like the wives. Yeah, they, that lady yeah, had her tits out. Yeah, kissing yeah. each other's boobs. Yeah. Uh, I <laughs> didn't see him sucking titties. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like the ones, I didn't see any of that. I was downstairs yeah, looking the, at the Xbox The one husband was with the other wife. and the hot tub. Oh, and yeah. then the other ones switched and they were doing all that. But well, she not, was, she we're not was going there. straddling what? him and, yeah. uh, uh, while he was driving like a yeah, Tommy Lee style. Yeah, I and I was sitting there. I'm like, well, he didn't but look like he was, wasn't having fun. <laughs> what, what? Yeah, I did like, 10 this. plus years ago. Yeah. So it was, everything was high and tight. But you're talking about 10 years in the future where everything is not well, gonna be I mean, high and that's, tight. Well, that's the The only the thing going to be high and tight is my attitude. <laughs> 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 well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get worse. I thought yeah. it gets better. Oh, uh, no. Cross you when you get, get older. Better. No, the body gets worse. The attitude gets worse. <laughs> hold, 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 hold. Everything gets worse. <laughs> no, no, but it should Well, then why are we here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be opposite. Like, it should Just, go away from each keep, other. No, you're going to keep that as a fantasy because- Sorry, buddy. Throw it out there. I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying what I want now. <laughs> Who you, knows? Well, would wait. you? Okay. Like I the can't. Grand Canyon wasn't formed let's, in a week. Let's start. Okay, exactly. <laughs> Take some time <laughs> to Roma, whittle it down. Yeah. <laughs> but why do you want to see? You want to see Daniel naked? You want to see no, your Andy, friends naked? Well, like, like okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to see question that. Is, yes. Let's well, talk about the last party. Just, Tony Rage was there. Juan and his yeah. lovely wife and child were there. Tony Rage and his lovely wife was there. So if Chrissy or or Juan's wife, who I want to say her name because she's yeah, a yeah, librarian. Don't get her involved. <laughs> they, she yeah. comes out and they're they're just coming and they're just walking around topless. You mean you wouldn't freak out or act weird? I think you would, you would act, act weird. So you're, weird. Yeah, no, TC is so awkward. awkward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're the most awkward person. Right? Yeah, I know. You're so awkward. So like you're the one who wants these things to happen that are gonna make you act awkward. Yeah, but you're I'm, not gonna know where to look. You're not you're just and then what hey. if you get an accidental ooh, ooh. boner? No, no, I don't get those. How do you know that? It's on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all the time. You're just going to stand by the grill so nobody can see yeah. you. Well, you I'm stand just by the grill with a hot boner. It just <laughs> ups the level of overall fun entertainment. No. Uh, not like, you know, just like no, like I don't a know whimsical. Because it, <laughs> it would be weird. Like, Right now, it would be well, weird. You're, it you, adds a little, uh, like, uh, you know, sexual, like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. I, like, wow. I, would, I would be okay with being invited to that party, but I don't want that party at my house. So, like, those <laughs> parties, that you'd want to be one of the people in the background of the videos where the girl's, like, sucking dicks. Oh, no, the, and on. then you see the girl in the background who's holding the cup, and she's just like, ah, I'm just here for the free beer. <laughs> You're like, I want to be that girl. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Now, oh, the current parties. Sucking and it wasn't, like, on. Sunday, it wasn't like we were laying out or anything. We were sitting there. So I'm going to sit there with my. You uh, know. Tony Rage's right. wife was laying out a little bit. <laughs> you know, just, no. I monitor the laying out situation too. Because, you know, I'm not too far away from the dartboard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that far away. Right I'm not. He's right there. I'm not here, Daniel. Daniel yelling, no. stop, stop. No, no, <laughs> yeah. He says, yeah, yeah. I know. saw what was happening. I saw Tony and his wife go over and yeah. use the, the Shays lounges. 
Yeah. I saw that happen. Yeah, yeah. Daniel's letting me say it. <laughs> like he's not yeah, yeah. jumping in front of me. Look, you're, you're, you're holding your own my man. mouth you, shut. You're, <laughs> you're your own man, and I'm following you to hell. <laughs> you're just hoping that I'm like, Crystal, want to go on the swing set? Nobody's hey, using what it. What if we kiss once? <laughs> no, right. come on. It's not uh, middle Hold school. Hold on. I'm getting a little, <laughs> I got a little motor there. Wait, what happened in your middle when, school? When Crystal said no, that, I was testing funny. myself. I was I like, wipe your mind clean. Because that's the thing I can do. I was like, wipe your mind clean. When she goes, what if we kissed? I was like, hold Oh, hold on yeah. a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I, the, normally that doesn't do yeah, anything, but I, but, you know. No, I know. I, I know I what know. you're saying now. It's I'm like, just saying. It, no. Now, if, if Andrea said, I'm, hey, we're going over the world, watch football. I'm going football. down the slide. Well, if she was like, I'm Whee! going to a, a, what was that, nerd? That didn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm going down a slide. But like, if she, somebody naked, said that, get, naked, yeah. Oh, with oil. Oh, an oh, oil yeah. slide? Said, that slide oh, is, that's, it hasn't on, been used in 10 it. years. It's <laughs> covered in, <laughs> you're going to get a lot of dirt. You're going to go too far. I'm going to ask you to go down naked in the oil slide. I'm not going to make you go down an oil slide. Wait, no, Tom orders that big ass, like, Oh, the inflatable slide. Down, He's like, guys, I know the kids The kids aren't here anymore, but I ordered this big slip. I got an oil slot. <laughs> yeah, me and Andrea are like like rocketing down a slip and slide. <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh, what'd you guys do last night? Oh, first. We just ridded a child's <laughs> inflatable and our wives rubbed their oil pussies together. <laughs> I, mean, ah, that's too far. I mean, if that <laughs> happened, was that, were you I, saying that it would be a bad time? It, <laughs> would, it would tear the company <laughs> apart. <laughs> it would. It would. It would. It would right, tear the because we'd all, all be right. awkward the next yeah. day and it'd be like, I can't look at you guys in the eye anymore. You gotta do it with no, strangers. Yeah. This is, yeah. Yeah, and, 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 and fuck inflatables at any birthday party moving forward because I'd, I'd see one and I'd be like I know what this motherfucker wants again no, I, uh, <laughs> trick, yeah. you want the oil slide listen and I know me and Daniel we uh, we have a tight bond uh, and, and it's we, an unexplainable yeah, tight yeah, bond yeah. too and that nobody yeah, knows the yeah. that nobody knows where it begins where it ends or how it started and we no can, one knows and we can look at each other's eyes mm-hmm. and we're like just say never think about it again <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. and then we'll never mention it nope, ever again ever again but we know it we happened. just have to make sure Butler's not around <laughs> oh yeah, yeah yeah never tell Butler he's no. like our Loki he'll yeah. ruin it um, always sneaking around, turning right. into things. Um, so that's it. That's all I had. <laughs> so we got some BDM questions. <laughs> um, right. you, know, you know, no, but the other the other thing that would happen totally because it's your life. We're all there naked, having a good time. Your kids are at college, but that was the one week, and they decide to like just come home, like surprise, mom, dad, we're here. Or we yeah, and they or walk we're at in. your house, so I'll, that's only where for your kids. <laughs> I'll put a sock in the door. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, yeah, they'll know. know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, wait, yeah. what but, door? But, I thought you were out in the pool. On the front door. Uh, you know, that's it. The whole house is uh, socks, socks everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> all socks. Yeah, all socks. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying they're completely nude. I'm just saying, like, you know. You Again. just want tits out. Yeah. You know, I think he does just topless. want tits out. It's like, I, I'm self conscious sitting here on this couch, right? Right. With this baggy shirt on. I'm so. Oh, I'm, I keep. Good. But but I'm trying to. I'm going somewhere here. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm self conscious right now in a baggy shirt sitting on this couch with people who I know for a long time. Yeah. You think I'm going to walk around without a shirt on in front of anybody? I mean, I have no. I, nobody's going to do that. I know the likelihood is it's next to zero, space. right? But it's if, not next if, to zero, but it's it like is per, zero. It's like you just want to pretend when you're watching the the space launch that you're on the rocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've seen it on Facebook. Like, I'm a civilian. This is history. Facebook is fake. You miss every shot you don't take. I've seen. Ah, uh, uh, you're shooting yeah, your shot. Yeah, yeah, Michael Jordan. If you show eyes. up, you eliminate 99 percent <laughs> of the competition. You there need you one of those success posters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so I'm just you know throwing it out there that. Uh, and and usually in my life, if over time, by mentioning things over and over, yeah, like rep. somehow it's like Inception, uh, you know, and you're then, willing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then down the line, you're like, I, I, I think I want to pull my titties out. Uh, you know, it <laughs> yeah. just comes into your mind. You're like, where'd that idea come from? Came well, from you've right always here. been that type of guy. <laughs> Because you went through a phase uh, very early on in our friendship where you were always talking about how you just wanted to pull your ding dong out all the time. No, no, you no. Know, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yeah, you did. When Anderson Leon used to live on Thank Anderson you. Street, no, don't. that was the first <laughs> no. time yeah. you got naked. You just got naked. Oh, I don't know this. Story, what? Man. He I'm got totally here. naked, and I'm I was like, "Who is this person? I don't <laughs> know." God, him. You're devious. He's testing the fucking, waters. We got, we got Castleberry Carrot Top here. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's pulling his long, long brown out. He's dancing in Winter <laughs> Park with his ding dog flop. No, everybody was egging hey, me on. Did you do the Louis C.K. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I didn't. We all, no, I didn't. You were talking about swinging, and we were all agreeing. He just whipped your dick. Yeah, Louis C.K. Mark. Everybody was saying. Andres was saying, "Do it." No, we were 
Because me on. you were saying, yeah, we were, we we're, you know, we, we want to do this. And we all said, yeah, yeah, we're going to do it. Whoa. And you, cli- wait, you climbed into bed and got totally naked. I, I don't even have recollection of this. Well, well, well there's photographic hard. evidence of this. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I'll put a $2,000 oh bounty God. on that photo. <laughs> <laughs> there's no there, photos oh, yes, of it. Oh, yes, there is. <laughs> no, where, where are they? I, I don't go. I don't go toe to toe with with uh, with her Ooh, memory. I, else I don't go toe to toe with Crystal's memory. Yeah, with that, She's buddy. got fucking no. proof. I or don't fuck with her. Storytelling. Don't yeah. fuck no. with her, man. Yeah. yeah. No, no. You're no gonna one's got you're that. gonna fuck with her, and Tony's gonna end up regretfully <laughs> posting a picture of you. Only <laughs> <laughs> you better stop <laughs> fucking around, <laughs> man. Me out, he's gonna post yeah, yeah. Why are we I, I, I don't. I don't even like looking at penises. Dan emailed me earlier today that he wants a big throbbing Christmas ornament with a big dick, and now I gotta post my. <laughs> that was a different time. I was young. That was a different time. It, you were very influenced. You seemed back in the day. Your friends would egg you on, and you'd just do shit. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, That's no, true. I'll do anything. Like, but Tommy's like that. If you chant my name, oh, I'll Tommy do anything. Oh, Tommy loves a chant. Tommy, yeah, Tommy he gets a sparkle a in his eye. He'll yeah, do anything. He because oh, it's funny, no. like, like me, yeah. like uh, I'm oh, same thing. If you call me a chicken or you chant my name, I'll uh, be pure person <laughs> and doing anything. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, anyway, but as you age, you just start. Uh, you know, getting out of that. Uh, I don't, don't worry about me. Right, <laughs> right. Well, that's what they're saying. In right. 20 years, they're not going to want to whip their titties out right. if they don't want you, to now. Wait, how come you can age out of something and I can, I got to age into something? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Get him! That's like an on mute Maury when somebody got <laughs> 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 Oh, hey, thanks. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm just... I'm <laughs> <laughs> he can't even talk. <laughs> First question. Okay. <laughs> uh, the first one is for Crystal. How do you truly feel about Tom's plants? <laughs> oh, boy. I... Man, that's a uh, you came that's, out. Yeah, a Barbara Walters. Well done, Sam. I didn't ask. It. I feel attacked. First of all, I want to know the background on how you talk about how I feel. He about says your you plans. hate him. He says you don't give a damn. Yeah, he okay. says that you enjoyed it when people stomped him flat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't I, say who did it, but somebody <laughs> stomped a few of them just, flat. He just and knocked them all he, over. And he said he caught you smiling, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like oh, a yeah. wry smile, knowing Lies. that yeah, and, she and, yeah. liked it. And then he went out to kind of pick up the do damage control and you were like yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does come it. full circle because when we were leaving your house on sunday you're like juan i have a plant for you yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. so I'm, naked naked plant swapping he's trying to give his yeah. disease to other people <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he no, gave no, tony I, and christy a plant when they left too they like plants who doesn't want you're a like, plant well, you're sh- no you're giving her this giant pot it's dirty it, you've no she's got to put it in her car now she's yeah like, i got dirt all in my car when it. he gave me a, plant. Right. Okay, a little bit of dirt you got an awesome plant we also free. had gasoline pouring in the back of my dog <laughs> no, yeah. that's different well, he was trying that's to kill you he told me he told me if you can't see your titties he'll kill you i didn't say that but now this person has to take care of something Right, and they think, might be on the burden of not being able to take care of themselves. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. So are you? Sarah, are you? Because I gave you a bunch of plants. <laughs> I'm telling you. I was you. giving Daniel a plant like, every day. Giving me plants. And then he'd leave them here. And I was like, because hey, I, you forgot your plant again. Oh, yeah, yeah, and then he's like, I think he didn't want to take them because. I have to take care of all of <laughs> these plants. <laughs> yeah, 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 and sorry. Daniel and me. You're, I'm, I'm you're sorry. the boss. Right. You're, the, you're the caretaker. I'm, I'm th- the cool guy. I'm sorry. I thought someone would want upward of 32 plants. <laughs> I have so many of them. If you look at our balcony, our balcony now is, is like, it a jungle? It's a bunch of like mismatched pots everywhere. And, and it's oh, overgrown. Yeah. It looks like it looks like a poison <laughs> ivy's lair. You have to start buying different yeah, yeah. tier, um, yes. no. different height things yes. so that they can all fit. Yeah, we yeah. don't. We, they're everywhere now. Okay. <laughs> it's all mismatched. And then, and then I got her plant pot. subscription oh, for right. indoor plants. So now we have plants all everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just and I, don't renew that one. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Which one? Like, plant uh, subscription. Oh, like Anything that we have to take 12, care of, that's, that's not something we want. Yeah. yeah. So how I feel about the plants is they're beautiful, and I and I'm really glad that you have a hobby. But but hold on, let's talk. No. Let's talk about that fig that you like so much. No, that, that was the. Let fir- me answer <laughs> first. Hey, I cut that fig down. What were we talking right? about? I'm the one who propagated <laughs> no, those things. Yeah. No, uh, no, that big nice fig that we have. That I air layered uh, that fig yeah. myself. Oh, my fight. Big fight, <laughs> big, big fight, big fight. fight. You guys are fucking <laughs> the nerdiest nerds. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I air layered that. Somebody call Andres quick. We need a dash of cool in here fast. We need him to dance oh, and play some rock I thought music. He wanted the picture. <laughs> <laughs> that too. I do too. I do too. But we need some cool in here fast. Well, the thing is that at any free moment that TC has, he immediately goes outside. 
immediately. It he doesn't did, matter what he, is coming. He did say that. It doesn't matter like if we're packing for a trip or there's people coming over, yeah. the house is a disaster, like he will he immediately he figs. comes home, he goes into the bedroom and he puts on his working shorts. Yeah, <laughs> <it's> big, <laughs> and he big comes shorts. out topless and he's he gives me a smile and I'm like, You going outside to dig in the yard or whatever? Going right. home like my mother. Oh, you said it's sexy. You did not say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Maisie did ask, Why is there a hole in there? There was like a hole in your yard or something on Sunday. She's like, Why is there a hole yeah, in there? All the neighbors yeah. want to know why are there holes in dirt all over the yard too. TC's out there digging. No. He digs, you right? S- you say it like you're talking to two eels underwater. <laughs> 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 okay, Ursula <laughs> yeah, yeah, Got yeah, it. Like I'm that. sorry. I wish well, steal, <laughs> uh, steal my wife's that, voice, please. <laughs> Whatever he can do to be outside and away from his family. That's what he'll do. I have a bunch of plants I gotta take care of. No, you gotta, you got all dry. You got a family to take care of too. He does tell us that when he says that you. The kids are like, playing he says the, Okay, is this accurate? <laughs> because He's, you're not paying attention to him. He says the boys <laughs> don't want to. God damn. He says the boys <laughs> don't want the pla- don't like the plants, <laughs> and that you are gotten better about liking the plants, but you wish that he would spend more time inside. Is that? Well, yeah, I don't want to feel like second to the plants. You know oh, oh, then right, right. I think don't these plants Listen, take care of themselves? All these years that I've been coming in here, you guys know I like a lot of attention. <laughs> yeah, well, from yeah, my husband. Yeah, yeah, like I am. And like, I'm, I'm like, fighting yeah, for it yeah, every day. Yeah. Well, how, I mean, what it's either is, the phone is or it the all plants. the attention? I mean, there's... I just want different. a little bit. <laughs> well, I, can't, I mean, you know we what? Live Can you set a timer on your phone? You get 30 <laughs> minutes a day. That's it. You know, when the timer you know, goes if off, you water you're back your inside. wife. So, you know, <laughs> if you water and cultivate your plants at the end of the day, your garden is beautiful. But if you water and cultivate a woman's heart, you'll get a blowjob. That's true. <laughs> and I've told you. I'm him serious. That. That's, that's true. I wrote, write that down, yeah. Sam. I, it's a little vulgar. I'll work on the ending. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel it's a little like how I fire people with giving them a You've possible never fired t- Oh, yeah, yeah I, give, task. I give them an impossible <laughs> task, and I know they can. And I think that's a little bit like the blowjob promise. Or life. Where she gives the blowjob me an, promise. I never read that oh. version well, of the book. No, <laughs> well, Crystal's like, you get uh, unlimited blowjobs if you do. Unlimited? <laughs> she said Whoa. that. If you do. That's a keeper. I've never, never even uh, heard the term unlimited. I didn't know there was an I unlimited plan. That. We yeah. have a friend who offered and Followed through with unlimited blowjobs for one year. Oh, for a puppy. For a puppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On oh, wow. Yeah. I don't believe on, it. I don't on demand. believe it. I have to on ha- demand. I have to ask him uh, no. personally on the side. She told me. I am actually rattled. I do not believe no that. No way. She told me. I believe her. She's not a. Anytime he wanted? Uh, on demand. Yep. Uh, our Twitch chat room checking I, no in. Way. Uh, Brock BDM says, unlimited. This isn't fucking Dave and Buster's. That's <laughs> per- you're right. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. But I just don't it believe it. It's not a <laughs> subscription <laughs> program. It's not $99 uh, taco a day, which they do have in Arizona, What do the, the plants give you that your family does not? God no, damn. No, it's not what it's you just doing? my only I got no other hobby. That's the only thing I do. Yeah, well then you can ask just, the same I don't, thing. I don't what play is, I don't do anything. What do video games <laughs> give me that you and Maisie can't provide? I, I and by the way, you I You know what? They're fun. How I, about that? Let's start there. I play with Tommy and Max every day, obviously, and then but they're playing Nintendo when I get home, and then Crystal's like on her computer walking around the you house. You don't like Nintendo. And then well, they don't care they're not gonna they don't want to come out and uh, help me with my plants or Why do you find out. something you both want to do? If they you don't want to play Nintendo and they want to do plants Where's the middle ground? Oh, I'll go and play Nintendo. I'm just saying every once... At least we're once talking here three times a week mm. uh, for three half an hour. Uh, anyway. I'd like mm. to thank that listener for the question. <laughs> All right. I'll, <laughs> I'll kill it. my plants. I'll, oh. You want no. that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go home. I'll kill them all. Hey, if you want our TikTok to pop off, you'll do a three-minute <laughs> video of you I'll rage home, stomping I'll your plants. I'll stomp them all. Rage. You gotta we love the plants. Uh, They're like, pretty. They've pretty. But, you, but you know what's going to happen? I'm going to stomp them all and get, throw them all in the trash. <laughs> and then I'm going to get home on Monday. The kids are going to be playing Nintendo. You're going to be on your computer. I'm going to sit there mad on the kitchen table. <laughs> all day. <laughs> Myself, Jeff, I get, that's it. I could have been taking care of my plants. I'm just sitting there mad. That's what will happen. Yeah, but they'll be happier knowing that you're mad. <laughs> we went over, <laughs> and that's what it's. That's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> we went over to the coast. <laughs> <laughs> Look how miserable Look it is. We did. That's what we wanted. We did. That's what we did. It's like when you <laughs> release your stepdad's bird. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes you just gotta make them mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funnier that way. Anyway. Next question. All right. Uh, the follow-up, uh, this is for Andrea, same guy, asked, how do you truly feel about Dan's Microsoft Flight Simulator? Oh. Do you still hate it? Oh. Not as much as Crocs. She fucking hates Crocs. <laughs> no. 
Um, the flight simulator, it's fine. I understand it. Is needed for his mental health. Bought a Tomcat last night, $34. But I, okay, that is <laughs> they the problem. Released the when Tom I checked, the real, dude, the, they released the real yeah, yeah. Top Gun jet. That, that's gonna... the only problem, is checking the bank account and seeing Microsoft, Microsoft, Microsoft. I overdrafted. Microsoft. I, did, I really yeah. did overdraft. Like, what do you have to keep paying for? I buy these planes. planes. Digital planes. Digital planes. That's You could have that. See, yeah. couch and donut. <laughs> yeah. 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 At least and, I get some nice planes. Yeah. Yeah. Plants are like, healthy and they're yeah. real. It's not like $5. It's $29.99, $34.99. Oh, that's she did look. Because yesterday was $34.99. You did look. I did. And I'm just like. Hello? And did I? Re- I did because I don't want the listeners to think that we because we do, do exaggerate. But I did overdraft yes. buying a. I it's bought always the, he I bought just the buys, flying, buys, buys, buys because it's too easy. I need to go. I'm not. A, I'm yeah, not a math guy. I hate business math, and I hate even looking at my bank account. I'm well, not don't good buy at, anymore. There we go. Okay, that's all you got to say. Uh, that won't work. Yeah. <laughs> TC doesn't. No, TC you just got to check the card. business account because yeah. I'm a <laughs> No, yeah. I don't check that. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh, fine. Then we're fucked. Yeah. Um, I didn't get my check yesterday in the mail. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but I got a plane. Yeah, I didn't get mine either. <laughs> uh, how often do either of you listen to the show? I, we, we've answered this already. I check in on Twitch regularly. I don't listen. Sorry, guys. Hold on. My wife will listen if, if she's, she's on it, so which is. One. Uh, you should say hi to yourself I, right now. An odd. <laughs> <laughs> How weird. I just got nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I know. Yeah. Because no, I like to listen back to to like to torture myself. And, and like re- hear how stupid I sounded. No. <laughs> oh and I do not huh? listen to you that. Have yeah. self-esteem yeah. issues. Yeah. I'm yeah. a little less crazy, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. You guys are meant for each other. Yeah. 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 You know, it doesn't explain crazy. my relationship, that's but there's a lot going on here. Yeah. 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 All right, this we'll says, Tom always thinks that Crystal won't believe him if he starts being romantic. So I want to know, Crystal, are you truly weirded out if Tom gives you a compliment? Would you think he has gone insane if he texts you something like how hot you are and how he can't wait to see you, or would you welcome it? At this point, point it would be weird at first all right but i could get used to it right if you keep doing it then it'll be the norm yeah. uh, don't uh, say it'll you be the norm prob- <laughs> you gotta start, oh, you gotta start yeah. propagating this oh andrea with the plant reference nice that was pretty good yeah. i gotta give you credit is there some program that I can like an app that you want yeah, just to send her nice messages. Well, j- I can just for sure put them in there and then it'll auto send. Yeah, like I can oh, set God. it. <laughs> it's the same thing, right? No, because well, when I'm sitting next to you, it, it won't line up with who you that are. That would yeah. be funny if you were just sitting yeah, next you don't to her. And it's gonna get all mixed up, and you're gonna get your text messages mixed up. Like you'll fire off one to her that says, "Nah, you gotta tease it down. You'll get a better line or something." And then she'll know, "Oh, he's gambling uh, or mm. whatever." Like. You, <laughs> It would worry me. See, uh, now, is it at Why don't all? you just hire, why don't you just tell Butler to remind you or Sam to remind you, hey, it's uh, it's 11.32, fire off a romance uh, text or you something. You can tell, <clears throat> hey, Suri, put in a reminder yeah. every Thursday at No, you can do every o'clock. Thursday, then it's too programmed. You'd have to just do... Pick random times. Yeah, but it, then it gets stuck in there forever. I still have a reminder daily that comes up, and it goes, boom, Lena's heartworm. No. <laughs> oh, why would you say that? <laughs> oh, my God. You know, I, yesterday oh was her birthday. Why <laughs> would you say <laughs> that? Uh, yesterday <laughs> was her birthday. What? I'm just saying what the truth is. <laughs> I know you are. You know <laughs> what? you can go in there easily and gets, swipe yeah, and he, know, he still gets um, I don't know pop, pop, give Pop-Pop his medication. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like once a I or? called my mom yesterday and had a conversation with somebody <laughs> for <laughs> two hours. Oh. So no, I, didn't. I okay the the saying the nice things that, that I'm horrible at. I think I do it too much. I think I do it too much. I'm too like like when we got the bed the first because this is a show the one eight. I immediately back to you. I'm like I'm like I want to can't wait to eat your butt in this bed or something. Like I'm like. Yeah. I want to, right? What did I say? So well, I want to eat your pussy in the similar. I mean, not just, she's saying like, I want to eat your butt. But. She's not crazy like me. She's. A, but you guys are very similar in like your emotional. wants and your needs yeah. and your emotions. And, and so my text to my wife, like I give her too much compliments. I'm like, I love your titties so much. Oh, and I'm just pink. like. I love your pink titties. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, yeah. I tell TC every day, you look really good. I almost you look do. so hot. Yeah, I, your body is good. Yeah, we do I that. I tell him every day. And then he's just like, hmm, thanks. 
Well, I've, been, I've been working on it. I'll tell my wife. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why'd you say that? I can't take compliments. And then uh, I told him his hair looked nice today, and he's like, "Yep." Like, <laughs> but I know what it's he so meant weird. by that. I mean, I know he meant thank you. That's I know okay. we did. I, I know we did. I married a special person. And oh, that's okay. Okay. well, you won't no. accept it. I tell you that. I'm like, oh, you were, when I make a, a tremendous <laughs> mistake, <laughs> I scream. Tremendous. <laughs> I scream. I um. It's the uh, best mistake. Tremendous I, mistake. I, I, you know, I'm mentally disabled, and this is how I am. I was born this way. Maybe. I can't. Yeah. You, yeah. you. This is a hate crime that you're so mad at me. I like. Why are you hate crime? Are, me? are you gonna? Yell at someone that they can't see. <laughs> like, why can't you see? You're I've done that a before. blind person. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, like the, I have a mental. Uh, I feel like Crystal's come disorder. to accept it over the years. I, I, She's yeah. way better. Yeah. Okay, I, st- I, I still yell about getting dirt all over the floor with your stupid sandals because oh. it's like every day. Why can't you remember? But most of the other stuff, you know, it's it is what it is. It's all good. I'm ready to ride this thing out into uh, to the I, end. Okay. Well, well. Uh, let me ask that you this. Sound fun. I- <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm ready to. You know what? I I, I guess I'm I prepared I'm, myself. I'm, I'm ready to try skydiving for the first time. Uh, you, you know, know? you said like uh, <laughs> Bruce Willis and Armageddon. <laughs> like, I you guess know what? I'm not going back. Yeah. Stay on the moon <laughs> or whatever the hell you're. <laughs> anyway, this mom may all be for nothing, but uh, give her a go. Um. So. You know I love you, and you nope. know that uh, I'm, uh, you know, uh, that I think you're beautiful. So it's hard for me to keep telling some, but I know that's how normal humans work, where they want to be reminded by their uh, significant other that they they uh, that their significant other loves them Good. and thinks they're beautiful. And I just think, well, of course I love you and think you're beautiful. Yeah. Uh, how do you not know that already? Like, uh, you know, so why do I need to? You know, be- I think he's gotten a lot better. Around here, he says, "Thank you and please more." <laughs> and you, well, like, he's and what I mean by this, th- but no, he will. Like, he'll, he, he, he'll but go like, beyond. You no, know I, right. I appreciate this. But hey, let me put it this way. So. My whole life, and I've figured this out just recently with my therapist, I've always been left alone because, oh, it's Andrea. She'll get it done. Same with, like, work. But that is somewhat of a detriment because you do need to be checked in on. And you do need, like, somebody does I, – I would I need somebody to say, hey, I know that you'll get this done, but I just want to see how you're doing. Yeah, I like, don't I just do that. Want, like, my, my family had always has always yeah. never, like, worried about me with homework. You never have to worry about Andrea. She's fine. Yeah. But – you still want somebody to check in on you, right? So it's that like, kind just of because thing. you, you that, like you just can do it. You know that she, you know you love her and everything. She still needs a check in. Like Don't let her talk in. to you like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, I know, I know. That's I, and then I, I need to. Rem- I sh- should I? I want to check in on you more now. Okay, I will. Thanks. I promise. Yeah, it's good with friends too. Yeah. Like you just need to check in on yeah. people because it's true. Andrea's got she's like got all her stuff together. She's out here talking to Mo about stuff. She's gonna copy me on an email to him, and I'm like, yeah, yeah I should have done that seven years ago. Thank I God know, for I Andrea. I told you, Andrea will do it. She's good for her. Yeah, but she's <laughs> right. She needs she needs some support too. She's I, a rock. I don't check. She's on her always fine. Enough. I don't because I know <laughs> you'll always be, be fine. Right. That's what I think. I'm like she'll always be fine. You know what? It goes bigger than that. I'm fine because of her, and if she dies, we're all fucked. I know that too. Oh shit, she's not fine. Oh god, me, me, me. A selfish, selfish. Oh, what am I gonna do? Yeah. Right, but no, I'm saying, yes, your wife knows that you love her and you cherish her and you think she's hot, but check in on her. Tell her that. Yeah, I know. I wrote that down. <laughs> <laughs> I put that in the app. Do you need me? <laughs> do you need me to remind you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, you know, that's my oh. problem. <laughs> Listen, it, five years after I die, he's still going to be getting a reminder that says, tell Crystal she's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and then right after, Linda's heartworm. <laughs> anyway, too real. Next question. Right. <laughs> that was good. My God. Uh, has Andrea ever had an I can't take this anymore moment and just put herself on a timeout from Dan? And has Crystal ever actually Ooh. fantasized about stuff Seth has said in regards to her? Good Lord. It, <laughs> it's yeah, called <laughs> I've started going to therapy. So Look, I drove to therapy. Everybody. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. I've yeah, always yeah. dreamed of driving somebody to therapy, <laughs> and I fucking did it. Yeah, but yeah. I highly suggest I'm going to the same therapist as Daniel. We just do not go at the same time, Mm-mm. and we have an agreement with our therapist. She can use yep. things in each it's other's sessions. It's wide the fuck open. It's but easier that way. It yeah. has, I will 
be honest with you, in the last few months, Daniel and I have had way better communication because of it. So I highly suggest something. going to the same yeah. therapist. And it's Do you weird, feel like it hinders you from saying something no. you would say that you don't want her to tell him? No, because I feel like the it's therapist the will... It's like no bullshit. It's all out. Yeah. I can say it, yeah. and I feel like the therapist is not going to like... Say if it she in a bad way? Right. If she, she needs to bring it, it up to him, me. she's not going to... Yeah. Like, she just calls me on my way. bullshit. If I say yeah. something and that's not accurate, she'll be like, well, Andrea said this, and I'll be like, mm, that's probably a little more accurate. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, oh. I, I don't know. It's not that I'm going to go in there lying. I don't. I ne- And that's the one thing. I used to tell somebody you and I used to work with, a, a, a big fat piece of shit. <laughs> that um, that why go to therapy if you're gonna lie? I mean, why? What, right. do, you, what do you do? It? it is pointless. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're really what are you, you trying you to do? You really it? are wasting money, and then if you're insurance, whatever. You just, no, they're, what you're right. doing is making yourself. You're validating your craziness. Yes, yeah. yeah. right. you make yourself feel better. Well, they like put, my my therapist yeah. told me everything was fine. And if you do the math on that, then you'll understand why that person was doing that. But yeah, so it works. But yes, but so it's not for everybody. Helped me. Yeah, sometimes so it's more personal, me. and sometimes you don't want to. Maybe share it, but I do like that because I think it keeps me a little more accountable. I kind of used what you've done with our business as the example. What? Of our therapy, but like the accountability that we have and then how people can benefit and use uh, Gabriella Plants or, you know, the True Leaf promotion we have where you can get free stuff from them. You know, it's like being accountable is important. And that way, if I do go in there and maybe I'm not quite as committed to the conversation as I should have been, that maybe our therapist can write the ship with. Yeah. I love you know. therapy. I think everybody should go to therapy. Mm-hmm. I run from it sometimes because it, it can be hard. But I did I call and make you an appointment so good. today. Yeah, she did. I, I I went there and then I I talked and I was, and I figured it out myself. No, t- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, I know more yeah. than this person. Listen, everybody, imagine the therapist is somebody that TC is interviewing. And then he just talks and asks the questions, and then he answers the questions, and forty-five <laughs> minutes later, pays ninety-five dollars <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. leaves, and that's it. Like she, she <laughs> never got away. This is therapy. Then, <laughs> am I your therapist here? Oh yeah, yeah. This is. Oh, the Sam one. figures out a lot of things. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, this, how I grift everything. This is just basically free therapy Damn it. that uh, I can pay for. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's do a couple more questions. What was that? Yeah, uh, wait, uh, the other one was: yeah. Would Crystal actually ever fantasize about stuff Seth has said in regards to her? I don't. What has he said? I don't know what he said. No, all the jokes. He's basically yeah, just saying know. he'll he'd bang yeah. you and oh, stuff. Yeah. No, I've never fantasized. He definitely about it. would suck your tits at one of Tom's parties. <laughs> <But I> think, <laughs> what did you yeah, think yeah, of his won't. car? I, I never it. stepped one foot in. That yeah, car. she didn't. Oh. She didn't. She drew a line in the sand. Um, and I and I, like I noticed that. there was like some that. there was a, a lot of dog hair in my car after he borrowed it. So oh, he said he vacuumed that. Rocky, I vacuumed it. He had that little he had that little peepee dog in there. I don't care. I'm just kidding around. Um, but no, I mean, I've seen the, you know, when he wears those thin pants with nothing underneath and it's a little yeah. chubber. He's got a carrot top <laughs> in there. <laughs> Noticed that before. Yeah. But I think based on his track record, he'd be really disappointed if I took my clothes off. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He likes, yeah. Yeah. He likes a young type. Come on. Yeah. Uh, I, I says saying. that. I said, tell, uh, I mean, once I you close s- your eyes and get inside, everything's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, ah. yeah, 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 yeah. It could be anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he does, you know, uh, like young girls. Um, but you never fantasize about it. Like everybody fantasizes about everybody, right? Like, no. a, a, like a f- <laughs> fleeting. Yeah, I fantasize about it, having sex with everybody in this room. <laughs> no, come on. Dude. I have literally. I don't fantasi- want to be a I have literally fantasized. Get Mo back in here. <laughs> I've literally fantasized about you blowing me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I love the <laughs> He was at your one of your parties. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, tit socket, let's take it up a notch. <laughs> was he, I was like, so I think we can do better than this. <laughs> was he doing plants while you were? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's out there. I'm out there with the, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, the yeah. white veins. But, just... Yeah, I, I don't have to, uh, I won't give you uh, a couple of yo's in the morning after that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll just walk <laughs> silently to my desk. Yeah, you just, we'll uh, come in the back so you don't have to oh. see me. I only fantasize about you. Oh. Uh, seems unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> Checks out. Yeah, 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 I only yeah. have I only have so many uh, memories. How about you? <laughs> what? I don't fantasize about me. <laughs> you don't what? fantasize about me. No, about anybody like oh. Yeah. Right. Uh, what? That's, that's, that's like weird, weird right? No, that's like the, like because she's more logical. Like you, I can't get this. I I would eat her well, ass. And there's like, no way I didn't get to eat her Daisy, ass. Your mom came up to me on Sunday and was like, "My mom, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. your you're mom was sucking my tits no. at the party." I said, "Your mom came up to me. She goes, Maisie's very logical." Like she did, yes. and that was like her compliment. It's like Maisie's very yeah, logical. Maisie like, is very logical. Yes, she will tell you. Like my, she told my mom the other night. My mom was yelling at the soccer game while. My, 
my mom was over watching Maisie. And Maisie goes, why are you? You motherfucker! (laughs) And I'm like, Vicky, you can't be doing that. And and Maisie goes, why are you yelling? They can't hear you. (laughs) I say that to my husband. It's you. It's you and I hate it. It's like, it's like, shut the fuck up. We're having fun. Your mom, that was her compliment. She appreciated that. Right. (laughs) She's logical. And I was like, She's not like me. Like your son. I'll be like, oh, this is. That's a good trait. I'll be like, ooh, that's scary. She's like, not real. You're fucking not fun. Right, right. Like watching scary things or watching like, I don't know. Of yeah. funny things or magic stuff with yeah, him yeah. he's like I'll tell you how they did that yeah. <laughs> That if it's not real it's not funny fairies you know? aren't real dad <laughs> I show him stuff on, on like uh, TikTok or whatever and he's like well that isn't real they just made that to be viral and I'm like it's still funny though yeah. can you just laugh at it but yeah. it's not technically because if it's fake oh, no. the only no, reason okay. it we would be go back funny to <laughs> yeah get your questions is if it's legitimate if it's fake then it's not as funny right like the whole reason you it's- gotta enjoy your life man Maisie knows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she knows. Too. She, she gonna, told me on the I'm going to email her later. She got, sh- she got shy. <laughs> but, These idiots think but fake it, videos are funny. Drive it over to your house. She did say to us, she's like, I got a lot of business ideas. Remember? And I go, you could t- uh, money making. She's like, I like money and I can make money. And I was like, well, you need to talk to Mr. Tom about your money making ideas. Because this is the day she never shut up. Be- she was just, yeah. hurrah, hurrah. and we're like, please go talk to Max. I'm getting like that. Later. I really thought that if I could put you two together that I'd actually be able to escape. Yeah. <laughs> I want to, like, I drive every morning <laughs> in dead silence <laughs> with my sons at school and I ask him questions That's I'm what like I want. what specials do you have today and then I'm like art and then Tommy would be like He'll get it wrong every time. He'll be like, art. And then Max will be like, you have a PE. I was like, PE. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. And, and then I'm like, uh, what else you got going on? And then they'll be like, you know, uh, I don't know. And then Maisie does a lot of that. Like, she, but she'll, but if you get her going, she'll just start cranking. Just, Talking Shut the whole time. Up. Do a couple more questions. <laughs> yeah, a couple more. Uh, why won't Crystal let Tom get a new one wheel? God, I knew it was the airing of the grievances. <laughs> did you write these questions? Yeah, no, I, feel like you did write that. I talked to them and that they like me. A you, lot like is your old you one write. broke? No. Is your old one broke? No. Oh my God! Thank what you. are you? My dad? Oh, no, it's not. It <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. Oh my God! That freaked me out. Was your old one broke, Dan Lee? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, you dickhead? That's if it's not broke, why do you need a new one? Because he gave it to. Our friend who just moved to the coast. Not to give it to him. I just well, I left it there. <laughs> yeah, but but mm. I want. But that doesn't mean you get a new one. Then if you didn't bring your toys no, home, well, then, then you no, don't know. He one. left it there on purpose because I, ultimately his dream is for the two of them to have a uh, ride down the beach together and like high oh. five with their wind blowing in the air. Dude, that's gayer. That's gayer than me blowing you out of your party. But your friend is an adult who also makes money. He can buy his own one wheel. No, I don't, it's not for that. I would just want the new. I got the version one, the Bobo original. So you won't upgrade old. your phone, but you will upgrade to. Well, because my phone, it the phone you use times. every day. Don't yeah. let her talk to you like just gung, one shot yeah, right the, in the face. The You're new, logical. Why? This is not a logical decision. Well, no, I the also don't XR. control what you spend. You can buy whatever you want. That's what, so that's what Andrew tell. tells me. That's a trap because <laughs> I did it one time. Yeah, you buy the digital plays to get me No, she said that. She's like, I look, it's your money. You can do what you want. I'm like, fine. Brand new Martin. Guitar. He's like, ah. I, I did and tell him. I was and like, she's you like, need what to... the fuck did you do? I was like, I, I bought a four thousand dollar guitar. You said I was like, you need to reel in your spending, buddy. These. <laughs> I have no concept of like, money. Here's the thing: the two. I feel like the two of you don't. You're not the ones in charge of the bank account. Or even looking at it, so no. you don't know what's in there. Uh-uh. TC will make big purchases sometimes, and I'm like, you got to tell me about that. Yes. I don't, it's, I don't. There's not enough money in there. You, yes. you know, you're overdrawing. You split it, it on two cards. Well, we have money, right? That's yeah, what I say. I'm like, in, there's money yeah, in there it's, somewhere. It's okay. called budgeting. It's there's, budgeted. You have different accounts. I've got the one that we put our money in for taxes at the end of the what? year, and no, then I've got link the one that all, taxes. You link them all together like a human centipede. <laughs> so if I run one, and if it's not in there, go dig, dig, dig. But this is what the dig, dig, dig. It'll eventually get to one. That has something. Yes. Or we're fucked. Exactly. This it's is like dual Daniel, gas tanks in a dually. He the other day he's like, hey, I want these new uh Facebook Ray Bans. And yeah. so he's like, there are, you know, X amount of dollars. You go on the website. Well, then when you add like lenses, like clear lenses to do prescription. Prescription lenses. I want to be able to video myself drawing. It goes up to like six hundred dollars. And I was like, what happened to I the didn't get two hundred dollars? I didn't get them. Hold on, he, we don't have the money. Or he said insurance was going to cover it. <laughs> they were supposed to, but they didn't. And I'm I think like, that's that why seems like a scam. And then I got happy for a second. No. Wait, <laughs> when you said, like, yes. when you said Facebook Ray Bans, I was like, they didn't go through. That's, 
that's a, a chain letter, right? Like that's no, I don't. Yeah. Think when your account gets hacked, you get the Ray Ban. No, uh, I, I don't think insurance covered it because it didn't go through. So there you go. You got your wish. But then I was like, we need to talk about the spending. Well, we already did talk about the spending. I bought <laughs> no a plane last night. And you got mad. Yeah, yeah. I, no. I just didn't want you to buy. He TC wanted to buy the pints for the kids. That's what I really was against because they're too. Sm- they don't even know how to ride bikes yet. You want to put them on a one wheel? Okay. Like that's kind of this crazy. This is going off the rails. Whose idea was this? What? It was Tom's <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, we had to record so much. I was like, uh, you know, the, uh, people want to hear. I'm just like, answering the questions that that your listeners wrote. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Pints are cooler than bikes, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 everybody's got bikes. But you got to learn balance, though. Well, do you? Who <laughs> needs balance, really? <laughs> I need you balance. You need balance for a one yeah. wheel. Like, I mean, you. I mean, who rides bicycles as an adult? Homeless people. <laughs> yeah, pretty I much. Like bike riding. Yeah, I, I love riding. Exercise I, I people and homeless yeah, people. I do it for exercise, but <laughs> if riding it to work, you're poor. Yeah, but, yeah, but if you ride oh. a one wheel, I mean, that's cool. <laughs> Cooler He's than a bike, right? Trying to help mm-hmm. you out. Has Tom taken crystal dancing yet? Oh, oh my god. Where are you guys going to go? Froggers. You got to pour your own beer. Wait, That's right. At some point in my life did I say that I wanted to go dancing with you? Yeah, yeah you yeah, said yeah. you wanted to do swing dancing. People are pulling stuff yes. from oh, yeah. 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 She's yeah. given up a lot. You said you yeah. wanted to go. 2011. The, yeah. the next question is about the Honolulu marathon you're running. Hey, you know what? Business partners. Got a good. <laughs> oh, man. Now she's mad at me, Craig. Oh, yeah. She's mad. She uh, never Listen, forgive you. I never. Can't, we're going to have to do a, a just a two-life crew just yeah. to really air it out. I can't, uh, I can't oh, run. That dead. is one of the, the next questions is when are we going to get another two-life crew? <laughs> Come take care of my kid and my husband and then. <laughs> uh, oh, I got the kid. It's uh, fine. Maisie. Uh, it's going to be fun to see Maisie. Take surpass. care of me. <laughs> 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 yeah. that, now, Andrew, you, uh, you got to think about this. There will reach a point where Maisie will get... You know, she's like, gonna be like your assistant, but like, but like <laughs> she 10 makes to her 12, breakfast, though. it's awesome. She'll be, I mean, she'll be uh, capable. I mean, she's d- capable now, she's pretty capable, like, uh, right? but uh, like a couple more years, she can take care of Daniel, then you're free. <laughs> like, yeah. could you imagine what are you gonna do? Yeah, but, that freedom. She'll, yeah, she'll probably just use Uber to get places or her one wheel, or you know, or will she take care of you? <laughs> like, well, no, she's, she's too no. selfish. <laughs> she's <laughs> like, I have to go to yeah. dance, yeah, daddy's got, laying on the floor. She's living for her. I like that. Yeah, she, That's what I would do. She's oh, living God. for her. She ain't living for me. Good for her. Then you're raising her right. Yeah. Yeah. I get a I get a couple of little hugs here and there. She yeah. did. She was super pumped about your new tattoo, though. Yeah, and we she's were like, all Uh-oh. about tattoos now. She thinks it's the coolest shit. She's like, this well, that's thing. cool. That, it least, is pretty cool. She can't not be with a dad who has that colorful art. On I think so. Stuff, you and know, she, and she likes it. She thinks it's really cool. And then she's like, she's like, I, it, she said the best thing though this morning. Did you hear? She's like, I don't think I'm ever gonna get one because Daddy said it hurt so bad. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, I did yeah. it. I did it. When she gets Dodge to be a uh, yeah, teen, friend, though, yeah. the, her, yeah. the adrenaline and yeah, that she'll do it. Oh, yeah. She'll do it. Sure. Um, Let's do some more. A couple more. A couple yeah. more. Like, we well, only one, have one more. One more. Perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, what's Andrea's real thoughts on the way Dan talks about the relationship, the comments made about sex and such? Oh, yeah, I'm a nerd. I mean, I'm a self-proclaimed nerd, so he can just... No, I think well, they mean like. That, is but it that's why you? I think they uh, think yeah, it's I, weird because you're a self-proclaimed nerd and you don't care what Daniel says. Like no. most. Like it, most people who would be a nerd would be like, don't say that, Daniel. That's oh. too far. She's a that's different breed of nerd. Okay. But I've been push. in the. I'm, uh, is it because I. I think you just get his humor, too. And, yeah, and I like. I've known what he's done for so long that I'm just like. You like brush it off. Whatever. Yeah. Say whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. another just, one just came uh, in. How would the parents feel if the kids decided college wasn't for them and when they graduated high school? Totally fine. I don't yeah, care. I'm fine with that too. We've already actually kind of right. talked about how yeah. college isn't a thing for everybody because Maisie's ass and I'm like, yeah, not everybody goes to yeah, college. Cause my, uh, my brother, mm-hmm. he didn't, go to college but he went to like firefighting school you know like there's other yeah. Paths options of, yeah yeah and yeah. so you know we've talked about like she told me she wants to she's gone from like i want to be a a child doctor to i want to be a bug doctor and i was like mm, i don't know if you can be bugs well at least you got real jobs but i get spider-man yeah karate robot that's awesome i want to be a karate like, robot I, I still i dress them in the morning like they're little baby dolls like I still am getting them dressed while they're half asleep. No, no. 
Like no. TC makes a full kids. breakfast <laughs> no, spread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, These no, kids yeah. got it made, I, buddy. I, yeah, they have to I be would. reminded to eat every bite. <laughs> every, like like I, every thirty seconds, you're like, take a bite. You gotta oh, yeah, just yeah, yeah. walk by and yell yeah. that out because they're just off in a train. Moo's a different. Bri- are like, you? Are they watching TV while they're? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh no, turn that off. So they. We yeah. did. We didn't turn it on this but morning, want, and they ate they all their. They want it off. What am I supposed to do? They'll get in the trance. They want. The stuff. <laughs> Moo will get it's. It's got to be a bit of a problem though, because she's like you. So she'll get. She'll just go downstairs, not even say a word to anybody. Andrea's down, like checking something for work or something. The dog's out. I'll be upstairs, you know, nursing hangover, acting like an old dad or whatever. And May will just get her stool, and you'll hear plates and shit falling and breaking. And she's in there, just she's like, I'm just gonna do it. And she'll yeah, put her cereal that's great. in. I love her. I love her independence. Our kids are not independent at all. Yeah, and, and like they also spend too much time together where like if I take one of them to the dentist and the other one's not going, so they're, they're both dependent. They're both like <gasps> But what? Okay. I ha- uh, he's not coming with me. I I, I don't it's know. It's just what to in do. you, though, Listen, because like I, I don't blame do Tommy and Max. I tell them, I'm like, what are you doing? It's do your you fault. Do you guys ever take them like one each? Like no. s- like a, a Wednesday night, TC's taking Max, you're taking Tommy. You go do something separate, I never. Do that. And then get switch off. the next. No, like, we talk about weeks? it. We talk about it constantly. Never do it. I wouldn't want to do know it why. either. Put it in the calendar. No, they're going to get all pissed off. I don't no, want to okay fight that. I, no, I want to do that. But then, like, once I get home, one once, on the, once TC yeah. get, and we all get home from school, we, then we got to do the homework. And it's yeah. like, there's only an hour left. Yeah. You know, and uh, yeah. we just don't You're do it. You run out of time. Yeah. yeah. It turns out We're uh, on a Saturday bad morning. parenting is really just laziness. <laughs> like, uh, oh, you know. I wouldn't say you guys are bad. Hey, at yeah. least you parent. I'm just along for the ride. I just watch what she does, and I'm like, I mean, we could. I'm here. All these things we complain about, we could fix them in or try to fix them, but it seems like a lot of work too. So we're just like, ah, I'm sure. Like you know, it's kind of pretty good. Hey, the sun's still out. Hey, you're alive. It's fine. If you can see the sky, you're still alive. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You know, they don't fight with each other. They're nice to everybody. They're they're Mm -hmm. well mannered and polite. Yeah, yeah. They're just not. uh, Yeah, yeah. they're fine. Better, uh, you know, but everything could be different. But it's fine. uh, It's fine. I think respect and kindness goes a lot further than. Being and you can be independent and be an asshole. Yeah, but she's gonna be successful. I don't oh, know yeah, about that. That's why they, you know, like oh, oh, CEO. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know. She's can, she can be blunt, right? Mm-hmm. There are downfalls to that some of the, some of the hey, shit but she, she will says. That. Cut you with her words. Yeah, some yeah, of the real. things she says are very like, well, that's not nice. And but I, I know you weren't trying to be mean, but you didn't need to say that. Oh, I can't wait till she's yeah, yelling at her employees if they don't show up to the company Christmas party. They're gonna be fired. <laughs> 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 That's I'm, how- I'm late for the grand opening of my wine bar. <laughs> <laughs> Be rich and successful and uh, powerful. I mean, that's Go good. Bama. <laughs> Listen, All right. Uh, she left a lot of people in her dust. So. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I, I don't know. Not my bag. Any, uh, I know two wife crew people want, I mean, it's, it's hard to do where they, like, you know, you guys don't get paid for it. Uh, yeah. There's no sponsorship. Oh, is this where we say it's never <laughs> happening again? No, no, no we'll I could, I'm sure, uh, you know, eventually it's just, you know, with the kids. Why don't you guys do it via Zoom? No, work. that's weird. I could record it's it. It's just the I two of us. Get like, into it with it. Yeah, I don't. We'll, we'll, we will talk about it. Why don't once you guys they get, are back from vacation. Why don't you guys do an episode where you get drunk and suck each other's tits? <laughs> <laughs> Then we get a lot of downloads. Yeah, we right? would. And we'd be yeah, rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the audio of it or on Twitch? I right, think because you, you can't put that on Twitch. I think you start with the audio and then you say that you're going to release the video. Open OnlyFans. On the OnlyFans yeah. if they subscribe to the BDM, but then you never really We can do. just make the noises mm. if it's just audio only. You could just... That's not what it's on. Can like. we charge? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, the, uh, there's a world where if we had a whole new fans, I don't know. Look how happy oh, he is. Oh, God, he's like, business oh, brain. Now, like, we're back yeah. to the first question. If we had an OnlyFans account and it was all of us, I mean, not like together, but like, uh, you know, we just videotaped ourselves having sex and putting it on oh, there. My, oh, my God, you said the grossest thing. <laughs> we what? Did. We're going to video? Mean, no, no, no. We're yeah. not going to swing. We're we, just going to show. Having sex. Like, ourselves I mean, having sex. I'm, I'm not ju- we Very could, red. We could probably charge 25 bucks a month and. You've already got this way too figured $25 out. $25 a month? Yeah, but... Yeah. Sorry, buddy. It but, is way more expensive. Well, we'd have no, no. a thousand subscribers. Yeah. No, yeah, that's not enough for me to do something. 25000 a month? No. For me to get naked on, on the camera for other people to see. And yeah, like, well, there's I a mean, price point we need to hit here. Like, well, I mean, yeah. what was the I mean, price? That's a lot of money for, for who cares? This isn't know? an insult to my wife, but we can't be charging $99 a month. And they like they're paying for it. Uh, it's just not possible. <laughs> <laughs> just, can't, charge you know, the, just, can't charge the premium As much rate, as huh? I feel like I would pay $99 a month How much do people pay 
for Seth, and she does not. Ten bucks. Okay. She, mon- and she doesn't get naked, right? What if she, she does? Gets, no, she, she gets does. nude. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I think she lowballed herself. The bottom, right. What? Well, it's bottom, but not gratuitous it's fast, open bottom. It's fast turn bottom. Yeah, fast turn bottom. Fast turn bottom. You see, the, uh, yeah. you see, you see like, frontal. Um, bar- that is too low. Barbie, yeah. Barbie doll. Dollars. Barbie doll bottom. You're How the many? only one that would have to worry because you got a bush. <laughs> I don't have a bush. What? I have like wispies. No, you got a bush. Yeah, it's a on, big. Old, I like it. A big old <laughs> flosser. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Oh. I, mean, I found it. Yeah, how much money? Did you fl- trim? Yours this morning because I found a tumbleweed in the bathroom. Oh, oh, oh. oh maybe I was just drop it on maybe the floor. I was preparing for yeah. the flag of uh, Japan to be lowered. See, Daniel does it too. <laughs> I tried. I tried no, I'm like, why don't you trim that in the shower over the? I thing? wanted to do in the shower because then the water, the shower, it, it spreads out my wispies all over the walls no. and it looks like I'm living back no, in the apartment. No, but not on the floor. So I had to find a tumbleweed. I do it. I agree. I do it do over it the, the toilet and then I try to crinkle all the things and put them in well, the. No, um, you did not do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. well, I missed the tumbleweed. <laughs> <laughs> See? That happens to everybody. Yeah, but I don't understand why. I shave my legs in the shower and everything right. else in the shower. Why don't you shave everything And you don't even shower? have to turn the thing on. Just stand in there and buzz whatever you need to buzz. Well, what? you get water, water on the machine. I do. I have a waterproof shaver. <laughs> oh, okay. But that thing will grind your shaft up, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. I did yeah. a water one I'm time. Saying- and that thing at the bottom, I was like, ah! It's eating me alive. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it was bad. Just stand in there, and then when the water runs, it will go down the drain. No. I do. I like God. a dry. Sh- I like a wispy dry. Sh- I'm I can saying you don't turn the water on. That's what I'm you- saying. Don't turn the water on. Oh, Just stand no, no, in no, there. no, 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 no. That was my nipples. That was my nipples. Because I had got long nipple hairs, and <laughs> everybody's been looking at my chest tattoos, and I was like, I got to get rid of these. They're looking <laughs> gross. That's almost worse for me. My oh, if I found a tumbleweed of nipple hair, I think I would That's not. Worse. I think it's worse. Wait, it's worse than know. butt hair? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. butt hair's the king. I think it's worse. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> um, anything to plug? Uh, you yeah, yeah, did yeah. a lot at the beginning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> She's trying to get the hell out of here. I, 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 I do scared. have to work. People today. don't believe that I, my wife twists me up all the time and then bullies me. People don't believe you're getting a little taste of it today. But that's what I like. I got a little bully for it. You know, stop it. I noticed anyway. you, you didn't plug me at the beginning of this, even though oh. I'm sitting here. Oh. <laughs> got everybody else on the on the queue. Well, everybody knows. Do they? Do they? Does everybody know? Again, again, you can't just say everybody knows because what if you have three new people that three. don't know? <laughs> three I'm just they saying. They don't even matter. <laughs> three, we they need a hundred. Listen, every now and then Clear there's channel. some people in the BDM group <laughs> talking real estate stuff back and forth. And you're letting these other realtors pop oh, in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't, can't have that. that. What's going see on that. here? Shut it down. Next thing you know, you're gonna have Joseph Hunchuck <laughs> on there. You have some other roofing guy on there. Hey, and it's already on there. You better y'all change your guard. I know. I, I don't <laughs> care. I, I don't care. Put it all on there. What are you gonna be stick like? I get off it. Delete it. We're gonna be a dickhead. Yeah, but you know, maybe maybe you're not saturating it enough. You know, Ooh. people think this is free. This is not free. We pay for this advertising. Saturated. Uh, We're a client of yours. Saturated. I mean, hey, Bart is uh, really. I Jeez. mean, <laughs> you are part of that, but it's like you know. I have to pay a tumbleweed. <laughs> <laughs> tumbleweed tax. <laughs> the tumbleweed tax. <laughs> <laughs> so that means you say, "My wife from Bart." Re- Bart, Bart, Bart Real? Oh, good job, Andrea. You don't <laughs> even fuck it. She doesn't work here. Yeah. Oh, my God. My wife from Bart Real. Well, I was hoping you would jump yeah, in. Some friend you are. I was like, what is this? Bart Merrick Realty. <laughs> you really do. really <laughs> letting <laughs> it go. If Andrea doesn't know. Bart Merrick I just forgot his, like, we'll buy the house. Andrea <laughs> doesn't even know your business partner's name. <laughs> <laughs> she called him Bart Realty. What the fuck is that? <laughs> uh, anyway. You're going to write a check to Bart Realty? Um, you can go to <sighs> BartTheRealtor.com and uh, talk to Crystal Van if you're looking to buy a house. Or but, sell a house. Yes, or sell a house. Um, or if you just need some advice. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. here for you. You're taking advice? Yeah. I'm here for you. Sex Listen, advice. Listen, I'm yeah. here for everybody. <laughs> they made I, uh, the process of selling Daniel's mother's home very the easy. The easiest, yes. Yeah, but I did not have to do anything, which yep. was much needed at the time. Um, Super duper. All right, so uh, we're going to take a quick break. We got a, uh, uh, a special uh, segment we haven't done in a while mm-hmm. next, and then uh, we'll do some news with Ross. <laughs> Welcome to A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. Let's just do it, buddy. Yep. Let's just do it. <laughs> 
Our friends Jana and Jason are here. How are you guys doing? Awesome. We have upgraded to friends. I love it. <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't say that. I he said that. No, I <laughs> consider us joking. friends. Um, One of my dad's favorite jokes that he used to do, and you can't really do it anymore. But like people would like, like you know, you'd make a joke and you touch somebody's leg or you slap their leg or something like that. And my dad'd be like, "Don't touch me. You don't know me that well." <laughs> that is and then, yeah. and then a good dad joke. He yeah. keep a straight face. Three feet in all directions. Yeah, and please. then people would be like, "Oh my god!" And he'd be like, "Ah." I'm just getting you in the gonads. <laughs> yeah, something like that. You yeah. did. You adopted that because you've done that before. Yeah. When I've, I've like touched your shoulder or whatever. And then you're and like, spot. what are you doing? Wait, yeah, would yeah. your dad actually say gonads? Yeah. Oh, my God. But yeah. Gonads. Oh, yeah. Gonads? Go gonads. Go oh, gonads. Your balls. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Is your dad funny? Well, he was. He's dead now. But uh, well, we're uh, to bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was. He was very funny. Uh, Tom knew him. Oh yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, he's it was, super it was, funny. It's Daniel's dad. I mean, uh, funnier than you me. Know, he didn't come from nowhere. Oh yeah. yeah. Very yeah. funnier than me. I'm learning that with kids. Like, uh, man, you're close to uh, who your parents were. Uh, you know, in some aspect, or you got something yeah. uh, in them. Especially when you see the bad stuff. Like, I'm in Maisie, I'm seeing her temper, and I'm like, ah, oh, there it is. Yeah. Wait, are you saying it's you? The bad stuff is is she well, it's not after Andrea. you? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's coming from you, Daniel. Yeah, I, yeah. I had thought before this show that you were really smart. <laughs> <laughs> Most girls are sugar and spice and everything nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah like, it's definitely, I am the bad portion of everything. Uh, it's yeah. funny. If, like, Andre the Giant's son has big-ass hands, <laughs> like, we know where it came from. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Um, so guys, um, I know you've been traveling the last time we talked to you, you were in a spooky cornfield. Yeah, uh, it just killed me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You were laying on the yes. floor, uh, cause, uh, your COVID shot. And then, um, man, that's the, I mean, I, you single handedly stopped everyone that watches our show from getting the vaccine. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, jo- I'm joking. I'm, j- oh, <laughs> I'm, j- no, I'm joking, no. but that is what happens, please right? Cause no. people see it and they're I like, know, it's a- ah! Well, I know once we a- dug out that microchip, yeah. I was fine. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> once... Uh, I'm not supposed to laugh anymore. When uh, we stopped talking to you, we left you with... Uh, their it weird, was a bit of a cliffhanger. Yeah, there was weird locks uh, on the door, too high yes. for you to uh, unlock. And yes. we were saying this is a murder uh, <laughs> trap for sure. And then we said bye-bye and then I haven't heard from you. And So what happened... That doesn't make us really good friends either, considering we have their numbers in our phones and we're like, later! And we're like... <laughs> No, no, I'm sure they're fine. We I, needed like wait. I didn't even check in to be like, hey, you know the whole cornfield murder thing. I'm just just checking on you. You know, like, I, I was scrolling Facebook and I saw you. Like, yeah, they're fine. I did, I did too. Yeah. They're very. Thanks visible. for leaving a comment. <laughs> <laughs> I just lurk. I, yeah. I, uh, I'm a lurker. He's like they're drinking their coffee dressed as elves, and he runs. <laughs> and <I'm> like, <laughs> have they gone? It makes him uncomfortable because you guys oh, have so much fun. Funny. Ha- have they gone to a tropical destination lately? <laughs> I'm looking for a bikini pic. I'm sorry. We wow. might go. <laughs> you have Weirdos a bikini that. that you could wear. Yeah. Um, do you so guys wear speedos? Speaking of guys, I would wear a speedo. Just yeah. can't find one large enough, <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, Ding yeah. dong. <laughs> so what happened after we talked to you? And uh, Hello. We ended up going to Colorado, Yes, we which did. was really, really fun. Yeah. It's Mile High City. And we ended up staying on top of this mountain, and this mountain was so steep like, I felt like I couldn't go anywhere because my chair kept rolling away. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> now, terrifying. Now, were you, were you uh, like, hiking up it? Mount Everest. <laughs> it, it wasn't. <laughs> Evans. <laughs> Evans. Mount Evans. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're making a dad <laughs> joke. <laughs> that's good. That's I was like, good. all right, Jason. That was well done. <laughs> I, know, I know Daniel started yeah. it. But, uh, yeah. but, uh, well, I'm going to finish it, too. Yeah, we did some hiking, and, and it was a little nerve-wracking. Like, there were times when when it was so steep that, that my wheelchair started to like tip over she went she started going down and to just like if you've ever been going down a hill on a skateboard and you start getting caster flutter uh, or, or the wheels start yeah, yeah. going they nuts. call you the wall they wobble yeah, yeah. well she, so she's going down this dirt mountain road and she starts wobbling and so she when Jana slows down she has to start turning like a well, snowboard? Like a ski <laughs> slope. Exactly. Yeah, like yeah. a ski snowboard. slope. You start doing she doesn't the, have the brake thingers, the remember? Parallels. She took those off. But she, oh, yeah, that's but right. But she couldn't yeah. slow down. So she's turning, and she tried to make a gradual turn, and I'm running to catch her, and Tater's just hauling tail down the mountain. She's got her. She's doing that donkey slide with her butt to 
to slow her yeah, down. Yeah, I'm familiar with the donkey slide. Janice, <laughs> I grabbed the back bar of her chair as she's doing the the lean on on the I one the back lean. wheel. What, like and over like, a mountain? No, it, not over the mountain, but just down the road. I was like, I was just waiting for the gravel burns and everything. What do yeah, you do? Do you just like? Do you try to? So my hands are my brakes. We d- I have man hands. And it wasn't I don't think you do it all. I was just looking at that. I was actually no. going to say the opposite. I was going to say your hands look like really good shape. Like my hands are very pink like a pig that lifts no bucket. <laughs> <laughs> you do have pig in a bucket I, I have pig in a bucket hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very like soft. pig bucket hands. Like, I was thinking yeah, yeah. more along like carrying There's pails of water. There's got to be a market for that. Yeah, I he, was thinking like fairy tale pig. He can't even <laughs> smush an ant between his fingers. It's too, too soft. soft yes. Too soft. Really? Yeah. The ant loves it too much. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Like, ah, he just goes to sleep. Yeah. 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 Well, How when much you have man class? hands, they don't love I squished an ant the other day. He was like, ah, that's the stuff. I'm going to tell you, there is definitely a market for that. The series do you have like rougher calloused hands? Go feel it. Go rubber hands. Yeah, they're seri- don't touch like them. seriously. They're, <laughs> when I first started I dating Jason, more. he was literally like, My "Dad, uh, don't touch me." <laughs> dad. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. Your uh, dad doesn't. I'm kidding. Okay, dad was, doesn't touch me like that. Yeah, <laughs> oh but like if God. I go get a manicure, they'll they'll take the pumice. And they'll start. Uh, uh, yeah, like, yeah. Well, like that's what they do with people's feet. Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah. they, oh, they do. They get the foot pumice. They start doing you should that. feel how soft she's got. Little pink pig. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. hold on. Feet. You got ant feet. feet you've got. Really soft. You've got yeah. opposite yeah. Uh, <laughs> Daniel. You've yeah. got. Yeah. Like yeah, soft on the bottom and hard on the top. <laughs> oh my that. God, yeah. those are glorious! Wow, they are such soft. That's like pig looking pig. at a human doll. <laughs> you got pig in a bucket feet. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's what no, we're, we're, just, we're gonna work on that. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, but they know, are soft Maybe feet. abbreviate it. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds better. P I B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you got p- pib feet. So you're. Yeah, you know, it's so funny that this is coming up because I get asked a lot. On like our Facebook lives and stuff. More in Messenger. No, to show your feet. <laughs> yeah. To show yeah, my feet. Weird, uh, that's Tom, isn't it? Feet. <laughs> no, that's come Tom? on, yeah. ask you that. Tom's I just sent you six D pics. Show me <laughs> your feet. <laughs> yeah. See, at least he's messaging us. <laughs> I heard. I heard you got. Uh, I've heard you got pig in a bucket for you. <laughs> <laughs> heard it on Tom and Dan. Uh, so. <laughs> You could do an OnlyFans, I guess, but I don't think that's on brand for living. I lucky, think man. there's a, a thing <laughs> called. Not, it depends on what they're paying. That's no, true. No, that's no. true. You what could if, prop up the tour. <laughs> you know, on a lot of feet. Yeah. What that's if right. it was just like uh, Jason uh, dripping some hot wax on your? Uh, that's, on I feel your like feet. you already went in <laughs> like just Why don't we well, just start nothing. with a picture of the feet? No, that's You're not. already in wax. <laughs> well, I'm just saying dripping wax on your feet. Maybe it's not. There's yeah, but that's the thing. It's so feet. soft, You're though. Maybe honey. There's a yeah, yeah, drizzle. This guy's a visionary. You're like You're Walt Disney of feet. <laughs> This guy. Now you got it. You know what? <laughs> dreamers do. As <laughs> dreamers do, <laughs> they say. Right. Dreamers <laughs> succeed. Yes. Uh, so did you guys, you guys took your camper, right, to Colorado? Oh, yes. We did. And yep. you camped in, uh, how'd that go? Oh. <laughs> Man, really? Because so, I noticed you stayed in the haunted. Uh, it was a lot cooler. We stayed in the haunted house for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not in your camper. Yeah, yeah we yeah. stayed there for two weeks because we. All the while, your camper's getting hotter because nobody's using it. <laughs> well, I, one of us, someone, left the window open. Oh, uh, you went in there not, to whack off, didn't you? It was the. <laughs> uh, the so the why top. Why say that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I would say that. Because that's what you would do. Because yeah. <laughs> I understood it. Because I thought it exactly. Now that I know that's an option. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta get away. You know, yeah, I mean, it, it's too spooky in here. There's too many ghosts in here. I gotta get out of here. I need a place where I just won't have somebody go Whoa, behind me. Uh, uh, so you left the window open? Yeah, well, the, the the vent in the top. When you're going oh, yeah. 75 miles an hour down the road, apparently there's a little bit of suction that yep. will pull that up just a hair, 100%. so that when it rains, some rain can go in. And it all landed on my side of the. And Tater did the dog did puke on her side of the mattress as well. Oh, Tater! Because the dog loves to eat grass in different states. Yeah, the grass. Which Colorado has the best grass? That's what I heard. So I I would imagine nothing's better than a damp mattress and a (laughs) coffin sized room. (laughs) You know, dog puke on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, did it smell? Because I know. 
some well, sort of out. The beautiful like, thing damn. is that mattress just folds right up, and you can pull it out, air it out. It was awesome. All right, it was easy cleanup. Uh-huh. <laughs> I like how old, uh, Jana's looking at no, Jason like no. It wasn't easy. My side cleanup. smelled great. It was embarrassing, is what it was. When, oh no! When people well, have to put their mattress outside to air out, because she's like, they're gonna think it was me. Like, oh, like, oh right! It doesn't right. matter who they think it is. Tom pees the bed a lot. Okay, so you not a lot. It was help. back in the day when I was drinking. But more. help her out because, like, you've had to do this. How many times you've had to throw mattresses away? No, it's, I haven't. In when, foreign uh, countries. No, well, they, there was a time in the Bahamas where they had to take it out of the <laughs> yeah. hotel room, and then they <laughs> they put they the they put the yellow side facing all of the other tourists <laughs> to <laughs> shame no. you. No, and they write you. your name on it. Ho- hotel room this. Thomas fan. Yeah. yeah. I, I told, as they were carrying the uh, two Bahamian men carrying the mattress out of the <laughs> hotel room, I tried to tell them, I was like, oh, yeah, we spilled apple juice in the morning for morning mm. breakfast. If you're explaining your then vinegar. And then he just yeah. looked at me. Yeah, apple like, juice, Bob. No, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what was I going to say to that? <laughs> you know, I can't. He's I, also a giant. He's dressed like yeah, a psychiatric orderly. And you know, mad. like all the people that work in hedonism <laughs> are all in one. They're huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they do I... dress like orderlies. <laughs> from a they mental dress mental. like orderlies. <laughs> <laughs> because eventually you got to lock up some of their sex craze. They lock them in rooms. That's We've right. been watching this. This show, I don't even know. Lulu, which. you've been watching oh. the Lou Larue documentary. It's called oh, No. It, too, it's yeah, about a hotel room. It's called Room One Hundred and Four. Oh, I know that all about that room. <laughs> <laughs> got a bunch of fat guys with no sleeves in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Lived in that room. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I know that room well. <laughs> Why would you do it, Jenna? <laughs> you know what he's gonna do. Jenna, what are you you doing? know. Yeah. It's like you just put the bullets in and slid the gun over. <laughs> You know what to do. <laughs> so what is it about? It's a weird. Don't watch it. It's so weird. <laughs> it's about it. what goes on in the hotel room. It's the worst. Craziest and last thing. night, no, last is it a night's episode. Sh- no, no, no. Last night's episode was about two missionaries. It's the most twisted. Two plot. missionaries. That's us every night with our wives. <laughs> <laughs> every night? Not every. Night. I mean, every night we. Every you know, year yeah. on my birthday. Well, every night the missionary comes to town. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every time we'd speak in the good word. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just it was like a ghost. It's, it's um, tales. It's kind of tales of the crypt ish. If you remember mm, that, I but love tales from the crypt. <laughs> but it's so twisted. It's just crazy, weird things that happen in this hotel room. The same hotel and room. It's or maybe it's different hotel rooms with the number one hundred four. It's somebody with a twisted sense of humor or s- sense of. But they spill apple juice. Apple juice. Apple juice. Uh-huh. Not apple douche. Apple juice on the mattress. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. They've been listening to your story. <laughs> so, uh, I'm wait a minute. Did you write for this program at all? I, uh, I'm, oh. I, I, I'm sorry I keep going back to the RV, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, all right. I, uh, I know that uh, there's something there. There's and 500 I'm, dreams there. I can tell you that. There what? About 500 dreams on there now. Well, oh, from uh, yes, from people we've met along the way. Yeah. And I'm telling you, that was really profound it because was. we had grown men Quit that were crying on our shoulders. On your shoulders. On my shoulder. At different gas stations we would go to because you ask them what their dream is. And oh, wow. next thing you know. I wonder why know, they would cry on your shoulder and not mine. I mean, oh, I'm I'm like not, I would rather <laughs> that. In uh, Kansas? <laughs> what's your dream? Maybe if I cry on your shoulders, you'll give me a, a peek at those sweet <laughs> pig bucket feet. <laughs> <laughs> Who can cry that easily? I, I can't cry on a stranger. <laughs> well, maybe I could. It's, if it's, I never, like this it's, one guy. It, it's been... It, Amazing. If Lynn, I, this one guy, Lynn. Do you remember him mm-hmm. in the Marysville gas? His, Casey's. His Marysville Casey got cancer. Oh no. Yes, and I said, "What's your dream?" And next thing you know, he's telling us that he just wants to spend two healthy years with his brother. That's his dream. And then he starts like almost hyperventilating, crying like. <laughs> oh, you got the snubs. Yes. I hate the snubs. Yes. That's like that's a real. Yes, yeah. right there. Yeah. And was this just a stranger you yeah. met at a gas station? Met at a gas station. Like, what's stranger. going on with the trailer? What do you? Who are you guys? What are you doing here? Small towns. People yeah. want to know. A. Why are you here? Are you here for the the Vietnam Traveling Wall Memorial, or are you here for the Mustang car 
convention. Yeah, yeah, we're having a uh, yeah. It, it's, it's funny a, because I'm a, thinking a jamboree. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking in the terms of like Orlando, Miami, where if anybody comes up to you at a gas station to talk to you, they're yeah, uh, a panhandler yeah. <laughs> or trying to scam you and in some way. More aggressive. There's nothing. There's no other reason. Like, no other reason for anybody to talk to you at a gas station except for them about to tell you some story and ask for money. I have to, like, buckle down. I look at them. (laughs) I'm like, I know Capoeira. (laughs) I yell things at them. Yeah, yeah. But But even in, like, Macon, we had... We've had people walk up to us to ask us what's going on with the trailer because when we left out of here, it kind of looked like it had chicken pox with the, a couple of dreams on it. Yeah, and now it's, it's covered. I saw some yeah. some photos. Any dreams on there that you wish? Uh, you're like, oh man, I wish that wasn't on there. Oh yeah, we got because um, because I, I this one man named Larry. Describe, yeah, I went up to him mm-hmm. and and I got to talking to him like and 30, I was like, minutes. so what's your dream? And he was like, never ask. A dirty old man, what his dream is. Oh, yeah. oh big bucket all day long. Yeah, this right? Guy, this guy's war. And his name wasn't even Larry. Yeah, yeah. I'm not out, giving you my real name. You'll yeah. find my child porn collection. <laughs> <laughs> Turned out his name wasn't even Larry. He was, a, he was the one at the Mustang convention. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I just want to ride on some of your magnets and waste Ouch. some of your money. But now, so we're getting ready to travel again. I don't know if we've updated you. No. I think we're going to leave October 1st, right, honey? Well, when is the Tony Robbins thing? I don't know. Oh, are you going to do that? That'll be good. Have you been to that before? No, but I've always thought that you could get something out of it, right? Like, I always nah. thought. Jason. <laughs> what is that? What is no. that? No. Jason. I'm a fire walker. Jason so I, I did the whole yeah, the walk on gold. This. Yes. I was like going to say, you changed your tune. Of, 50 feet of fire. It was amazing. <laughs> it was like like the Dunder Mifflin <laughs> retreat. Yeah. Yeah, he's <laughs> not Michael Scott did that. That's why he doesn't have piggy soft feet. Have you watched uh, Ted Lasso? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We don't like yeah. the, uh, the what recently happened yeah. with a relationship. Uh, yeah. Jumped the shark a little bit. Yeah! yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah. yeah. We were fans. With the uh, Santa Claus and stuff? Or yeah. No, no. Something I'm, else. The, with the owner and the, the owner. relationship. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, that, I, I, it's seemed unbelievable. Well, like, like, just because no. they haven't had that fallout yet. No, I, Jason, I don't think we're, we've are we hit that that well, we episode have. they're saying. You guys they're, are spoiling they're, they're, it for us. You guys don't know that. <laughs> the fallout. <laughs> well, what do you mean? Uh-oh. I think you just, they just told See. us that Ted Lasso's having enough. No, so Ted you don't know that Ted kills the... <laughs> oh, <laughs> you don't know that he kills the... Oh, yeah, the soccer yeah. player that... Murder suicide. Yeah, the murder suicide. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. you're not uh, you're not up to so the the Bobby's oh, break in they accuse yeah. Ted of the rape oh, oh, oh. and then they yeah yeah take him everything down goes to, down they take him to Scotland yeah. Yard yeah you're not there oh, yet. I'm now, not there yet yeah now not to take anything away from your fire walking um, oh, <laughs> but, but I mean well just the science I know what the, are you walking on well I'm, eggshells the walking on sunshine I know they like use that. the type of coals that uh, no. don't, don't hold go, the no. heat and so, so why are you uh, trying to bust it out <laughs> of just if, so no, if the coals them. don't hold the heat that means they're gonna go right in your feet tell them what the secret is <laughs> because honey. those bitches are on fire <laughs> I know but I'm just saying that, I think we get there's only one way we gotta do it <laughs> no, I he, mean if, if it was outdoors he's like, right I, now I just cigarettes and they will burn you. <laughs> let's shut it's down. Fire, uh, let's shut you. down Broad Street. You know, I mean, if you put the the fire walking out in front of me, I mean the legitimate one, the way Tony Robbins does it, I'll walk across no problem in one with second. no preparation. But no preparation. You have to prepare. You mentally, to, yes. You have to. I'm say always mentally. Cold prepared. moss. Cold <laughs> moss. Cold no, moss. You watch people that have doubt, mm. and just like doubting Thomas fell into the sea. Oh no! People. That was your Bible original name. <laughs> you, know, you watch Stop. people doubting Tom. <laughs> so, well, that's what the preacher yells when to the you. snakes are biting to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying when the when the preachers yelling and the rattlesnakes are biting, I'm just like, come on, what are we doing now? <laughs> why, why weren't we passing rat snakes instead of rattlesnakes? <laughs> uh, we've started with fire. With the fire, I mean, you, you know, I walk across there. No problem. Um, anyway, so wh- where is Tony Robbins? You Fort Lauderdale. In oh, I did it here in Orlando uh, twice, I think. But uh, it was, uh, like, you know, I'm an idiot. I turned to Jenna. I was like, "Are you gonna do it?" And, <laughs> and then I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> all right, tires, cold moss tires. I, mean, yeah, that, I, 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 I can't look at her now. <laughs> I don't get uncomfortable either, man. Are we having a I, I, I must be turning been, red. Usually, I, I do. That I know. Head. I've been hanging we out have, with you a lot. <laughs> we have been working on our handstand. I so. <laughs> Yeah, Did you hear that? That was not that. I go, are you? Uh, and then I changed. I could totally do that. We'll find a way to adapt it. <laughs> we got to hold your, somebody held your hair back. Uh, oh. 
We're, we don't want you coming out of there. With no, it. you you put a you got to put the bun closer to the center of the forehead. <laughs> you don't want it down here because yeah. it's too. Yeah. Well, let's it, just move on. I'm, sorry, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Well, well, you we're gonna have to scrap there, this and whole then thing. Then you use your hand. What if you use your hands and yeah. touch you the goals? You could do the wheelbarrow. You know, <laughs> the where wheelbarrow. Jason oh, holds wow. my feet. <laughs> I, I do the hands. Yours is a lot more dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot more dangerous. Look at all her face <laughs> right in the fire. Oh, my God. We should have popped this And then out. they're like, you know what? There is no coming back from that. We might, be, we might get a good bra sponsor yeah, out of that, too. I don't care how positive you think it is. This is not going to be able to come back from And Tony takes his teeth out and drugs away. <laughs> Here, take these teeth. You'll be able to sell this for the medical bills. Good day. Yeah. <laughs> he slaps his horse's ass. He rides away. Jumps into his cryo tank. Yeah, the entire horse uh, is made of money, though. That's uh, <laughs> gold. You know, it, it's it's funny. Like speaking of like motivation, and you yes. guys do a lot of this. You're not anti motivational uh, speaking either at all. He's not. You Good. would think he would be, but he's certainly not. Well, yeah. it, there's a lot that uh, I I went to a mega church one time uh, because I lost a bet. And then when I was sitting there watching <laughs> and I was like, I was like, man, this, I guess it probably makes sense when it gets to that uh, big. And I was like, it was a lot of just motivational speaking, honestly, like, uh, like very little about the actual religion part. And it was like motivate, motivating people to get out there, do things, you know, it's like, yeah. and I was like, well, this is the, it made me look at it differently. Cause I, you know, I was making fun of the mega church and stuff, but it, then I was looking at everybody as like, man. I mean, who's going to be like, these people are worse off now after no. leaving here? Like, if yeah, they're motivated to help staff, themselves. And look at your support staff. It's like, well, uh -oh. If you're motivated to try to better your life, right. how is that at all in any way bad? My you know, mom like, used to say that, you know, as a, like a Christian, that, you know, she tried to like be the least judgment. I mean, you knew her and yeah. the way that she lived, it didn't yeah. always align with other Christians because she just chose not to judge right yeah and, love everybody yeah and sometimes people go well you can't do that because there are certain things in the bible and my mom was not that person she's yeah. just non-judgmental but she would say things she'd be like no it's it's not even about that it's about a like-minded like you know it's you're all going there and you all are like-minded in the world where you want to be better so just based mm -hmm. on that fact and that fat alone even if you don't believe in god there's still a positivity there's focus a, on your similarities yeah there's a vein that runs through there of like just by pure intent of all showing up at church at that one time it's you're not all showing up there for bad mm -hmm. yeah just this on that simple premise alone but, it can be very beneficial and it was for me you know i'm not even what you would ever call a believer but growing up in the church was very beneficial for me and the friends that i kept and you know it did it, sometimes it just good. having that little bit of foundation can yes. be the saving grace when you need something you're, you, or if you your family's have, bad yeah. you know then you can lean it you lean a little further into the church which it's, i had a lot of friends do it was it was a pivotal point for me like coming out of my depression it was like it gave us a place to go yeah. it gave me a reason to put on makeup it gave me a reason to get dressed sure and then we started greeting at church and just saying hello to the little old ladies that would come in yeah. that was enough for me to say okay you know what i i need to be around people i need to connect and yeah. when they would come and say i only came to church today was because i wanted to see you jana that was like my job yeah. Yeah. like that lit me up right there that's cool how what is the key because like honestly and i know it's different for everybody but like putting yourself into a more positive outlook it i mean it's beneficial for everybody i can't imagine anybody saying like oh you should be a uh the ultra pessimist or like you know or just always live in reality and always, always wait for the other shoe to drop <laughs> yeah yeah and and even though i do i do this all the time where i'm like i'm not a pessimist i'm just a realist and i know you know and then often i think bad things i'm like ah oh, this will end poorly and it doesn't i'm a pessimist and then i'm like well <laughs> why did i why did i even think that why not think it'll end positively because fear of disappointment it's all a guess anyway yeah. so why just uh, guess that i'm gonna lose every time why not guess that i'm gonna win even if i do lose maybe it's i uh, save myself from being disappointed i don't know 
So, like, this morning, we were on Clubhouse, and we have this one person, Nadine. I'll just call her out. Uh-oh. And Negative Nadine. Nadine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't she, know. Are you sure she, you want to do that, Jana? I don't know. You might melt your wheels. She runs a Dairy Queen. <laughs> Nadine runs a Dairy Dude, Queen. Dude, I love some Dairy Queen. Me too, That's right? one of my fa- family's favorite treats, and we go, there, we go there a little more than we should. Yeah, I was a member of the Blizzard of the Month Club. So are we. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, Nadine goes to work, and every day she's thinking, "What is she? What did she say today?" Somebody's going to call in sick today. Who? What's going to go wrong? What's Somebody's going gonna to call in sick. Like, I'm not like making she, more dilly bars. <laughs> 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 she has this um, mindset, and it, she's asking the questions: What could possibly go wrong today? Like she, that's going on in her mind, and therefore that's what she manifests. Yeah, when you People, walk in the door and you think, "What's going to go wrong?" That's the energy you bring in. What, like, you start looking for the problems, you find the problems. But if you're always looking for the solutions and how things can go right, you always find the solutions. If that if that makes sense. Yeah, no, it does totally. <clears throat> um, but I know that, like, my wife per se, <laughs> she will make the argument like. I'm preparing myself for the worst case scenario. That way, if it happens, I know what to do. And then I'm like, there's no way to live because the worst case <laughs> well, scenario is so statistically unlikely that why live in that mindset of like this. She makes me carry around uh, these things to break the glass and to cut my seatbelt in case we flip into a retention bond and I got to save our son's lives. And then she's like, put this on your keychain. This is how it works. I'm like, <laughs> I understand that that's a safety feature maybe people should have, but to go through the scenario every time you're driving is like, this is what I'll do. I'll, uh, you know, when we flip into the ocean and how I'll save my son's lives, I'm like, and then thinking about all the possible like car accidents that could happen, uh, how I'm going to get out of a burning building, all these well, things. The it's like, the truth is, everybody's brain it has these thoughts that run through a thousand miles a minute right that that are these random scenarios these these weird thoughts that just happen and if we talked them out loud people would think we're all crazy but everybody's having them yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and and it's 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 a i call it a duck i'll tell you yours if you tell me mine. no <laughs> no uh, <laughs> like if we had these if i don't know what just happened <laughs> <laughs> I, started reading, I started floating in and out of consciousness yeah if we had these thought bubbles i mean we'd all get locked up or we'd all we'd all just be in the loony bin yeah yeah, yeah. but I call it a duck inside inside my head. And I, if you find a way to calm the duck down and 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 find the way to get the positive things, and I've done it through gratitude. Jana got me on a gratitude journal a couple years ago, and listing gratitude out like three things at night, two things in the morning. It trained my subconscious to to start thinking of things while I sleep, of things to be grateful for, and then you start looking for all the good things, and it's it's just been a different platform which. Now that duck isn't saying, all right, every time you go over this bridge, it would would it be neat to kind of figure out if a car could fly? You know, and and am I gonna have to figure out how to <laughs> <laughs> is, is it gonna the way you put my that wife's in the trunk? He hasn't had that thought. He never wrote me back. <laughs> <You know? laughs> right, but we have these huge overpasses here in Orlando now, and you go across it and you're going like fifty miles an hour and you're like what if I didn't keep turning? I don't think that. I always want to slam into the person next to me and see if I can kill them. <laughs> well, see, is that, is that bad or good? That's that's that, is. that on the spectrum? But the thing is, we all have these weird thoughts that go through our head at some point in time, and we don't express them, and yeah. we definitely don't tell them to other people in the car because they'd be like, holy crap. Yeah. You know, I uh, wonder if any, just, like I do this one. I'm like, I wonder if anybody else walks on all fours in their house nude and pretends to be a pet. <laughs> <laughs> anybody else do that? Well, so no, that's, out. <laughs> um, that's out there. You brought up something that uh, I, I thought about when you were talking is you you're mentioning to write down what you're grateful for every morning and it kind of trains your brain. What are you to, grateful for? Well, I mean, there's a lot of things. Um, there it is. Okay, great job. <laughs> great job. You know, I'll get you a journal. I know it. Yeah. They, I don't have to write it down. <laughs> that's so, a stock answer. <laughs> they're all up here. But 
it, that reminded me of like, uh, you know, in a lot of religion, uh, they, they, you know, they tell you to pray at the end of the night and you, you got to pray just to make it today. <laughs> and then MC Hammer. a lot of the praying is like pr- thanking God for what you're grateful for. And I'm like, I wonder if that's, a, if that's why that's continued on for so long in religion. It's because it's a good human psychological thing to do to your brain. It's kind of because it's the same kind of concept, right? It's like one, you're praying to God and one, you're just writing down what you're grateful for, but you're still saying out loud what you're grateful for, which I'm sure that's a benefit to all human beings, right? Psychologically. I think maybe I've told you this story before, but when I was first disabled, I was in the rehab hospital and a quadriplegic asked me to scratch his nose. And when I did that, it went, my mindset went from, oh my God, this is the worst thing that ever happened to me. I'm paralyzed. I'm never going to walk again to all of a sudden I'm scratching his nose and I'm thinking, how lucky am I? So just by asking the question, how lucky am I, makes my subconscious be grateful for all of the things that I have. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's changing the dialogue that is in our brains so that we are asking affirmative questions that put us in a positive state of mind. Look at all the opportunities around me. How lucky am I that I am so abundant? You know, you start asking yourself questions in a different way that the answer has to be in a more positive light. And I, I think, too, because like I'm listening to everything you guys are saying. I'm sure a lot of people are and and thinking to themselves like, yeah, but you guys are that type of people that are look at a positive thing. You know, you guys well, look at they, things positively. I think they still have to work on it. And yeah, but I think day. I think they think that like, well, that's impossible uh, for me to do just because my brain works like this. But you've not you've had times where like, you've not it's thought like martial like this, arts. Right? I look at it like yeah, you my guys brain are, was not like that. It's a like meditation was something that I a I always wanted to do meditation because I thought it was cool and I, I wanted to do it because monks did it and monks yeah. knew kung fu. No, okay. Yeah, yeah, I you wanted know. to do it because those yoga guys do it, and they look like they're pumping good. Yeah, and I always thought if you were meditating, that women would be like, "I want to pump that guy." Well, <laughs> yeah. So, but I could never calm my brain down. I was like, my brain has these crazy things, like ideas, all the time going nuts. How do you how do you quiet that noise? And it was not until like a couple a year or two ago that we, we found someone that could actually lead me through and explain. A, what meditation really is, how it works, and why quieting yourself down and getting aligned with who you are and what you're looking to do and, and where you're wanting to go and organizing your thoughts. Jana calls it decluttering your your, mm-hmm. your thoughts and mind so that you can get focused on everything in life. And it's just been, boom, powerful. And that's not to say we don't have negative. <laughs> right experiences, negative circumstances, or even negative thoughts. It's being able to zoom out and realize that those negative things are actually working for us. And identify them. It's like radical gratitude. It's being grateful for the crappy things. So uh, I like that term. I've never heard radical gratitude before. Yeah, I meditate every night. And I'm not joking now, but I really do. And I've almost gotten to a point now where I almost need to reset my meditation because my sleep meditations... Like I've retrained my brain, the pathways, to the point where if I put it on, yeah, thirty seconds in, it already knows where I'm at, and I start to fall asleep. I fell asleep last night. Maisie had to wake me up. Like that's like how good I'm getting mm-hmm. at it. Now other meditations aren't so much like that, but sleep meditation, I'm really, really yeah. like it, my brain has now said, "This is an awesome gift you've given you're, me." Yes, if, you're training yourself. Yeah, you can definitely feel it. I know that you hate. Because we tried to meditate with him one time, and yeah. I know that like it's not. Your I bag. did it with you. you but it's. You, I am a big. I'm a massive fan. Our our friend Peter is a massive fan of meditation. It's kind of chilled him out, changed his life. I used uh, internal timer. I think is yes. one. And then I have Headspace. Um, and then Pel- Yeah, uh, yeah. And Peloton has their mm-hmm. own meditation. Somebody just do the that guidance. might work for you is Emily Fletcher, because she'll walk you through the M word, and that tells you exactly everything about what you're about to go through and how it works. Now, but you got to invest a lot of time into it. It's, a, it's like 18, it's 20 difficult. Hours. It's a practice, you know, like that's why I was going to say it's just like martial arts. I feel yeah. like in the idea that it's a discipline and if you don't spend time with it and if you don't learn the proper way to do it or find the 
proper, like you said, um, guide or whatever. That it's a non-negotiable for us now. Now yeah. it's very difficult when we were up in Andrea Colorado. Does it too. We do it together now too. Do you guys do the same ones? Yeah. Well, we yeah, we, we have one. different ones. We started doing the same one every single day, and then now now we do some different ones yeah. as well. I jump all around. But what I think is that meditating is your way of listening it's just your way of quieting your thoughts quieting your brain and almost taking a little mini vacation to where you can listen and believe it or not i get so many downloads like the radical gratitude that was during a meditation and what i thought was you know what for the last 30 years i've been so grateful for what i have so why don't we actually write down why we're grateful to be disabled why am i grateful for my paralysis and you start writing that down and it's like whoa tony palmiotti checking in from the twitch chat room twitch.tv slash tom and dan live he says quote watching a really old black and white movie on amc puts me right out (laughs) (laughs) thanks for input tony (laughs) that's right on top of it i'm sure the millennials will love knowing (laughs) about this new technique of watching turner movie classics i'm sure he's watching the rifleman we're not talking about sleep i like like to turn on turner classic boxing and turn it up to 12. (laughs) (laughs) i put my thermostat down to 98. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, yeah, but we're not talking about falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Tony thinks we're trying to teach people how to fall asleep. I had to wake up. Meditation is not sleeping. Your grandpa fell asleep last night in front of the TV. <laughs> I had to wake him up after I was done making the blintzes. Because you can always turn on golf and it does the same thing. <laughs> so what is your guy's uh, next trip? What's the plan? So Jason was saying this morning he wants to go to Minnesota. And yeah, we, yeah, we might ball. even we might even go visit Nadine and work at her Dairy Queen. I'd like to go yes. to Minnesota via Key West. If that's that, doable. Those are different directions. Oh my god, it, you should write a song. I think that sounds like a doesn't that sound like a country song? <laughs> yeah. Right. I'd like to go to Minnesota via Key West. <gasps> Tell me. Minnesota Mall of America's the best. Yeah. Oh, we'll do something. Tell them about your country song idea. I can't remember it. Okay. <laughs> Wait, no, hold on. That sounds like being tall. I, <laughs> I should have written it down during my meditation. That's okay. It's fine. <laughs> so uh, you guys are still going to travel around collecting dreams. We are. Uh, are you going to oh, follow Oh, you write up? your dream down. That I, that sounds a little weird. We do have you know. stickers for you guys um, today. Please. Some actually branded stickers. Oh, so awesome. And you write them down dream. and you stick them on the we yeah. camper. Put them on the camper. And we, we've had some crazy ones, like the first person we met in the Ozarks, I think yeah. maybe I might have told you, but she literally said, my dream is to not be convicted of the four homicides I'm being accused of. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, so yeah. We, yeah. we danced that around one. that a little bit. Oh. We've, had, we've had so many people that just want to go back to school, so many people that want a million dollars. A million dollars seems to be one of the- Yeah, they think that's going to be an answer. Number one. It's okay. That's your dreams. dream. Um, if the bare naked ladies wrote that and put it on there, I'll <laughs> punch them in their fat faces. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The uh, it seems to me that um, money is not going to solve. Uh, no, they'll you be know, broke tomorrow. The, 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 <laughs> or I mean, it solve a temporary. I don't problems, know. I feel like not... I could pay for better attorneys to get me out of four murders. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just saying for the people. You know, if I've got. Effley Bailey's dead, right? We've and had so many people though that have said just you asking the question is cool. Has yeah. stirred. Well, yeah, a lot of people have never been asked what their dream is. I mean, it's it's a it's amazing. I don't think I'd ever been asked what my dream was until we started doing this. I don't think and I've ever been asked that. <laughs> and no, I'm serious. I don't think anybody's ever like really sat me I mean, down. When you're, when you're a kid, it's my what you want to be when that. you grow up. You, yeah, things like that. That's different. But then that gets beaten out of you as soon as you get a mm-hmm. job and you get you yeah, have a yeah. bill, you know, that, that shows up. And then you, when you don't have a job and you have bills, so it's you get caught in this rat race and this, and this yeah. hamster wheel of life, and and then you start trying to fit into different cliques in society, and, and you forget about what you want and the, the things you want to accomplish or the legacy you want to lead. And it's is there is there any possibility that your dreams will lead you in the wrong direction? And like, so, I mean, not if you're meditating. <laughs> well, like <laughs> I'm just saying That's that what I heard like uh, people may not really like they think 
It's, it's like uh, I've talked to Daniel about before. Like I've had uh, fantasy and dreams about like living on a sailboat or whatever. And uh, but you fantasize about the only the good parts mm-hmm. and not all the work it takes and the insane amount of uncomfortability that that is when you live in a small sailboat and like all the uncomfortable and the work and all the stuff that comes with it. So then when you're actually there, you're like, well, this wasn't my dream. My dream was only the good parts, and I spent a lot of time. I'm trying to, you know, like it's like traveling around in a mini camp. <laughs> <laughs> it always comes back to that somehow. At the end of the show, it's almost like he wants to like circle back around yeah. right. to remind you of what you're in. So uh, in the vehicle you chose, you yes. chosen. How I big of a boat did you? You didn't want to have a personal chef. Okay, come and I'm come realistic. Back. Are you <laughs> like, I knew I was only going to be able to accomplish uh, no. just a small try an air conditioned sailboat. Big. If I'm trying oh. to answer your question honestly, like. Okay, Okay, is it, are you guys trying to teach people to be realistic at all with their dreams? Are there any dreams that I, are kind of off limits? Or is that your dream? Then damn it, that's your dream. I think we have a little bit different philosophy on that. Because I believe that you can go, I think you can have a mega yacht sailboat. And you can have your personal chef. You can have a crew. You can be running your podcast out of there if you want to. You can be earning a 12 figure income out of that boat, have Mm. your whole family there and have everything you ever want and be doing whatever you want to during the day and come back and do a 30 minute show and just be raking it in. If that's your dream it's setting the little milestones and the stepping stones to get there to do it. And then when you get off, off those stepping stones, recalculating and getting back because you set up the, the program from when you started on the radio to where you are now to get there, you've got the family, you know how to run boats, so you're you're you've got all this stuff. In a sense, I don't know about that. Yeah, I think this is a lot of thirty percent on these. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, we're yeah. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, and what you, if where you are now I, is pure luck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. And then it's not what you thought it was. Like you're yeah. making and all where the you are now is you're every back, decision you're, you've made and every reaction you've had to something. True, what if but you look back and you're like, man, all those decisions were horrible. Yeah. <laughs> and but I'm still here, but doesn't mean they were great. And we don't get I anywhere on our own. That's the thing is, we, well, I, got I, I got Daniel. <laughs> I got Andrew and Daisy. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I got Daniel. Daniel's got Andrew. Andrew's doing that's, it all. Yeah, you're <laughs> here. You're helping our show. That's where living uh, lucky is believing in yourself, believing in the people around you, believing in the circumstances. I like that. And believing that. Your creator, God, the universe, whoever it is, is always conspiring in your favor. You know what's funny is that we fit their narrative so well, but we are the guys that every time we do this at the end, we're like, ah, we don't care. <laughs> but we're the guys that actually created the thing and did the thing. and did. So everything well, they've said, we did the stones and then we did the thing in the process. Of do- and we have done it and yeah. we continue to do it, but we don't believe it. On to a billion yeah, it's really, dollars. It's really weird. Or whatever you want. I love hearing yeah, you say you all of that and it's like, we already yeah. t- sort of did it. You're you know? doing it. No. Oh, you What's guys the are, next biggest you're goal? You're our looking glass in, in a lot oh, of different Oh, my next biggest goal is retiring and getting the hell out of here. <laughs> wow. I do never want to see this as possible. I never want to see this guy again. Where am I going to go? <laughs> Wherever he's attic. not. <laughs> <laughs> well, never, just, yeah, <laughs> never to be seen Tom, again. Tom's going, <laughs> Tom's going to a sailboat. Daniel's yeah. going to What's a mountaintop What's the tallest somewhere? building? <laughs> you know, and how many rounds can I yeah. carry with me? It's happening. Yeah. Is there any bell tower around here? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. heard yeah. that uh, his kind likes that. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. oh, 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 too oh. soon. <laughs> too soon. Oh. September 11th. Uh, I thought this was corporate time. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> I will end with this, uh, and you'll probably agree. A lot of people are like, they think their dream would be like, I wish I was rich. I wish I had a million dollars, whatever. And then, really, they're like, their lives are great. And what they have is great. They have a great family and uh, all, you know, things are, and they don't appreciate what they have. Yeah. And they're like, you're living the dream now. Why do you keep thinking your dream should be? The mansion and the rich and the Lamborghini, like it, that's ridiculous. Look at look at your life now, and that's a lot of it too, right? Appreciating what you have. Because you start you start digging through the layers or unpeeling the banana, and really you get down to their values. And their values is maybe they what they think is rich and wealthy and abundant is like what you said. It, they've got it already. Yeah, yeah. Already Jana always says them. you have to ask five whys. Like, why do you want that? What's that get you? Why do you, why do you why do you want that, and what's it really mean at the end? Like, what are you gonna do with all that? And some people say, I want this so I don't have the 
the fear of having insecurity and so that I don't have to worry about not paying the next bill so that I don't have to worry that I'm, my, my, my wife feels like I'm a success or my, my parents feel like I'm a success or, or that my kids are, are going to grow up and need something that I can't provide or that there's going to be a health crisis or, or anything like that. And, and that it, it all boils down to that some type of fear or, or some insecurity mm-hmm. that they want to fill and they think that a, a bank account full of money is going to do it. And money is a great tool. But it, it's figuring out what are you trying to fill with that tool, and, and how you are you going to use that? Are you wealthy in your relationships? Yeah. Are you wealthy? It's so a, you they have might the think it's money, but wealth can come in many different. Yeah, because yeah. you watch these money NFL players and things like that. They get they get a, a twenty million dollar check, and it's boom because they thought that was an, that was what was going to satisfy yeah, them and fulfill not. them, and they just and it blows out the. It's like a blows out the bottom. Yeah, yeah, like money and things. I got that, but relationships. My relationships are. All sideways. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, All of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm not even in love with my <laughs> wife because I, I don't even find women mildly attractive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole I'm not even into them. Yeah, Have you yeah, thought yeah. about going into the priesthood? Put that on a sticker. No, <laughs> Put I it on the trailer. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think, I think I've been talking to Find a bell about tower. It. I think I'm just going to ride it out and ruin their lives, too. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Like live a lie. Yeah. Is oh, what <laughs> we're actually getting ready to do a love yourself challenge. Do you all love yourself? Ooh, every morning. <laughs> <laughs> Not that way. Oh, I even buy the soap with a hole in it. <laughs> we have that here, actually, in a drawer back there. Butler, go get our holy soap. Um, so, uh, real quick, I know we're going to go. Where can people find your channel? Where can people get your or, content? Or if they want to sign up for the challenge. Yes. Startlivinglucky.com. Startlivinglucky.com. And, and we'll have the challenge listed on there and a, a sign-up page for it by Monday. Yes. Okay, cool. Right. I'll, do a, I'll do a challenge. I need to uh, change my internal dialogue to something a little less negative. Yeah. I'm that's, real mean to that's myself, all, but that, you guys know that. That's yeah. the main that's thing it's going to be about. It's going to be talk self-dialogue, internal dialogue. Yeah, mine's real bad. Like I talk to myself like um, the Peloton instructors throw this around. They're always like, treat your body like it belongs to somebody you care about. Yeah. When I hear that one, it kind of hurts, right? Right? When you hear yeah. stuff like that, like, oh, why are you being mean to yourself? But, but and then you, have you tell to the instructor grateful. to screw off, right? Well, no, like, no. Shut up. Yeah, no. Don't well, tell sometimes me what to do. I have yelled <laughs> at the TV. Yeah. Jana, Jason, thanks so much for Thank coming you in. Thank guys. We appreciate it, and we'll see you guys next week. Welcome back to Corporate Time. Let's do some email. First email. Wow, okay. Yeah, um, I, like I like that. Hey, gang, I'm calling BS on that kid hiker story from ACT. I've hiked sections of the Appalachian Trail, hiked in the San Juan Mountains in Colorado, and climbed Mount Whitney all before I turned 20. So I have a bit of experience. No way this family hiked the Appalachian Trail in the amount of time they are claiming. I work at a ski resort, and in the summer, we do hiking. No way is this possible with the age of that kid. Someone is rotten, Someone is rotten about this story. Give it a couple months, and I'm sure we will hear the truth. Didn't they get... I don't think anybody cares that much, right? Yeah. <laughs> to start yeah. investigating it. It's like, all right, you know, like, what are you supposed to... Like, when the family says, oh, like, we hiked the Appalachian Trail and my our six-year-old was with us, right? And then the news picks it up and stuff. But then even if you're doubting it, how would you ever even How would you vet it? it? Yeah. And it's like you're going to spend a bunch of time where no one even you cares. You just got to <laughs> ask the kid, right? Just be like, He's okay. the only one that knows. And, and kids always tell the truth. So you're just like, <laughs> did you do it? And he'd be like, absolutely not. My mom and dad lied. And you're like, there you go. Maybe they did carry him for, a, you know, a certain, a certain uh, you know, I'm sure they, they carried him for day. a little bit. Yeah, like when he got tired, they threw him on a backpack. Maybe that was in the story, and then, you know, I didn't read no, it. No, it wasn't. Right no, no they, they made it sound like this kid walked, walked the entire time I mean, time I make Mary, uh, Mary, I forget her name. I make Maisie carry me when I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just like, can I get in your back? Yeah. Um, but, I, I, you know, since it's not like an official record or no one, right. you know, it's just like it's one just of those. just recreational. Yeah. So one of those things, it's on the news for a day, and then that's it. Although, they will like that will be the biggest probably thing they've ever done as far as like publicity wise right um most likely chances are they're never going to get famous for anything else like this will be it so when when that well, happens they might get famous one more time when that kid maybe gets a pediatric disease but then he beats it and then the police officer shut down the entire city to make him pretend to be Spider-Man, you know, when they do that for kids. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I know how much you love that when, the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. when they do that for children, where they shut down like all of yeah. New York City, so a young uh, boy or girl can be Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
So, but the kid will claim that he's the youngest kid to ever walk the Appalachian Trail mm-hmm. forever, right? Until the next kid. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he will. And he or may not the even kid not even care. <clears throat> you know, he it's cares just like less this is what my parents. parents do, and they went hiking, mm-hmm. and they brought me but with. But they them. also indoctrinate, right? Him yeah, they said they were like training. No, them as much like as two. they say it, he'll say it Dude. just as much because that's what you do, right? I, when you're a kid, you just echo what your parents are saying. Up until like seven years ago, whenever we did that DNA test on the show or whatever, I thought and told people, um, not really seven years ago, but throughout my childhood, that I was named after a Cherokee uh, <laughs> Indian that was a, a descendant of mine. That had something to do with the His Chisholm name is Trail. Tom the Indian. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Chisholm. You're named after Tom the Indian. <laughs> and so, like, you are told things that you just believe it's all lies, by yeah. your parents, and then I would tell people that, like, oh, like I was, you know, part. Yeah, because how were you supposed to know? I know Tom so, being the Indian word for pawn shop. <laughs> Like, I don't know what that even means. Like, what? So, like, that kid will believe his whole life that he's the youngest kid to ever walk yeah. the Appalachian Trail. At least your uh, family thought up folklore. Like, I don't have any. Like, it was just like, your name Dan. Why? Because your dad's named that. <laughs> well, why? Because his dad. Well, could that be was the truth. That the kid knows the truth and the parents are, like, telling him to lie about it. Because did you see that video uh, that got blasted where this uh, mom blogger forced her kid to fake cry on video because their dog died? And she accidentally uploaded the wrong one, the bloopers of it, like the, the outtake. Blo- why do you well, even like make a, Why do you even make an outtake reel? Of she that? forgot to edit out the part where she's telling him to cry and like telling him to pose and stuff. It was really gross. I did see that, and then, and it's what makes my wife uh, crazy is <laughs> I instantly well, thought you're like they were bonding <laughs> together making videos. No, I I thought that they uploaded the take the outtakes on purpose. Because they knew that was going to oh, get more. You know, outrage like, is still, it's still attention. <laughs> like they're so oh, crazy. People are telling, like people want to call CPS on her and stuff, saying it's like yeah, but it's mental but, child but abuse. If, but, but if, if there's not, they no know it's real not, abuse, yeah, yeah, they know that no, like uh, you know how like the hard, yeah, but you lose sponsorships and stuff that way. But did they have a bunch of sponsors? I think she did um, because it. it, it I'm curious just because it seems to me... Uh, if she deleted her channel, apparently. Oh, oh maybe you were real. Ooh, that was real. It's getting, it's getting sideways. <laughs> because I, I just feel like, you know... Back end's getting loose on that. <laughs> so Daniel uploads a video to YouTube every single day, right? I do, yeah. yeah and, I'll be uh, uploading one this afternoon. And I know not everybody's like Daniel, but the chances of Daniel uploading like... I have. <clears> I've <throat> uploaded the raw file versus the edited file before accidentally. I guess... I guess you but, mean, but, mistakes I, happen? But I will say that in, in the history of doing this, and I... I I can give you exacts. We've been doing the video replay for a little, um, a little less than a year. Totally, we're yeah, coming yeah. up on the, like a year anniversary of that. I've only done it once. And, and if there was, <coughs> oh, end of the day, Ooh, we're yeah. almost there, yeah, baby. We're almost there. I can feel it coming out. One but toe in the mountains. If it was a video that had something that you didn't want anybody to see, but that tells you that she probably does this all the time, right? Yeah. All the like reaction stuff or what? All her videos are fake, and she just happened to miss this one. True, true. Yeah, 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 you're right. Okay, so what it seems like what would have happened would be that she takes a video with, let's just say, an Apple device. Mm -hmm. And because I asked uh, kind of a silly question, I'm like, why do you even make a a blooper reel or what? No, but like she probably edited it. She should have deleted it immediately. Yeah, but you know how like you can trim the, and then it says make new clip. Uh, She made the new clip of the edited portion. And then when she went to upload, the files looked the same and she hit the wrong button. That's what I did here. Because the clips looked exactly the same, were named basically the same. One says compressed, the other did not, and that was the problem. Could you make the argument, I know this is just pure insanity and this is not the, probably the case, but could you make the argument that I'm put like social media content nowadays, I mean, most of it, just like reality TV and everything, has gone to the way of it's all cooked, it's fake, it's set up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, because guess what? Catching real legitimate reactions is hard as hell to do. Um, so it's a lot easier to fake stuff. I mean, we learned that in radio, right? It's like, you know, uh, just pay the company that sends in the fake callers to. Well, even about here, we'll say, like, ah, don't tell me, don't tell me, tell me in the air. But you yeah, know? but I mean, they just realize it's easier to fake it. So, like, could she make the argument, like, uh, you know, all this is fake. We're just actors, or not, but we're just acting. We're putting on content. So, of course, I'm telling my, you know, kid to fake cry the dog. You know, is it like. I mean, because what's the difference between like a an actor child saying, "Hey, pretend like you're crying for this video," 
I know that maybe their dog really died or whatever, but yeah. it's like, but just saying like, hey, we're putting out this content and I need you to cry for this content. Pretend yeah, to cry. Yeah, this kid's not an actor and he's not getting paid. And this is real yeah. trauma for him. Is you it real? I mean? Or is yes, they just his acting? his family dog died. He was actually sad. And she was like, his crying wasn't dramatic enough. So she was like telling him, open your mouth, go like this, put your hand here, like giving him directions as if she was directing him in a movie, but he, that's child labor, bro. You're m- forcing him to act when he's literally having a meltdown because his dog died. Yeah. Yeah. It's I, a little uh, different. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's obviously she's a crazy person, yeah. uh, but how much actual trauma that is to the kid, I question. I'm like, eh, there, I mean, there's, I'm, I'm sitting here. There's I'm not, real I'm not trauma. Saying anything I'm, I mean, the I, stuff you said is way worse no, than exactly. You know, like, yeah. But you're, you're every, comparing trauma. That's, you know, well, that's this is going to affect this kid and not even just this event. Think of all the stuff. His whole life is him having to pretend for his mom's blog. That's terrible. Well, well yeah, whenever well, we yeah. have having like, a nutty mom is going to be the worst. Yeah, that will be. Bad. <laughs> but when we talk about this, it is different seeing like from Sam's perspective of growing up with trauma like any amount, even this is like, and then I know like, cause you and I fall into the trap sometimes of being like, I don't think that's extremely traumatic. Uh, when you it's compare it to, to right, exactly. Yeah. Which is where it starts it, to get and dangerous. If you were that kid, maybe it wouldn't affect you right. because but of your personality, but right. his, you know, this could Who be knows? like, yeah. well, this poor kid could be the next, uh, mass shooter or something. You know what I'm saying? Because he's like faked his emotions his whole life. Yeah. Although yeah. if this made him the next mass shooter, whew, I mean, I mean, I'd be scared what the other kids are going to do because I've seen way worse than just <laughs> yeah, some yeah. lady doing that. Well, I mean, there's some bad stuff on the internet. There's a lot of parents that never even, uh, you know, take care or look at their kids or was you know, abandoned. Right, you know, there's right. like, oh, that's, you know, you start getting on the spectrum of trauma. This seems like uh, near the bottom. But again, I understand. You it's never subjective. know. Uh, what else you got? All right. Ointment in the cat's eye. Hey guys, the guy on the BDM show who talked about the vet selling ointment that wouldn't burn the eye for a bath. Well, that's ridiculous. I had to put ointment in my cat's eye before. She got a puncture on her eye from one of the other cats, and I had to put drops and ointment in her eye to save it. She's fine now, but it was a real bitch getting her to let me put drops in her eye. How do you even do that with a cat? I don't cat? know. <laughs> like, cat I have no idea. I've had to try and put like uh, just liquid medicine in my cat's yeah, mouth. It's hard. Oh, she hate. Oh. I it was did liquid medicine. Impossible. I did liquid medicine with the only cat that I had, and that thing shredded me up. Because it seemed like a dog. Our dogs are big and dumb for the most part. You could like stuff the pill down its throat and hold its snoot. Yeah. You know, like I've seen uh, people. Well, do Well, there's that ways to wrangle dog. Dog almost like to me, like like they're yeah. It's like I know where to put my fingers in the back of the dog's mouth to jack open his mouth, right? Like and yeah, yeah, open, yeah. and then I know how to hold it so he doesn't bite me. And I put the. Uh, pill in the back, and then I gently close the snoot, and he goes, and then he <laughs> yeah, swallows it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, with cats, so I can't, I can't even barely pick up a cat. Like even if somebody has a cat that's nice, that if I pick it up, I still don't know what I'm doing. It's like holding yeah, it's a all, baby for the first time. <laughs> it's all yeah. limp, and then it's like whoa, and it's yeah, just lighter than around. Yeah, and then it moves, and then it's, it seemingly has no center of gravity, like a Segway. Like I don't know where it's. <laughs> it's like I don't know where its center point is. Yeah, like, I, I can't imagine. I, I imagine it's gyroscopic. Too, too squirrely. If I try to grab its little uh, cat jaw to open it no, up, like there's no way happen. to do it. Things because it can bend. Like dogs are stiff, yeah, so yeah. they can't <laughs> bend their back legs up to kick your eyes out. Yeah. But a cat can bend its back. Like it can bend like a J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It can bend like a J and then use its little mittens to uh, scratch your (laughs) eyes out. It just seems like uh, way more of a pain in the ass to be a cat owner than a dog owner. I, you know, it's the furniture thing that really bothers me because I really like cats. I just can't stand. Yeah, my cat's ripping up all my furniture. I like cat. I'll say it. I've said before plenty of times on the show uh, that cats have taken a beating from my mouth of me saying, I hate good man. I don't hate cats. I like cats. It's just the furniture thing drives me crazy. I don't know how to not do that. And Mm -hmm. let me say, like, obviously cats are easier to take care of than dogs because they just- They're more independent. Yeah. Yeah. But when the cat has a problem, way harder than the dog. Oh, yeah. Right? Like, if it has some sort of rash or needs to be pills or ointments or whatever. like Diabetes. Yeah, Yeah. harder. It's like taking a- a baby to the doctor way worse than, oh take an old person to the doctor you're kind of like ah they've done this before if they die eh. but a baby is kind of like brand <laughs> yeah, new don't yeah, know yeah. what they're doing they don't understand can't communicate can't talk yeah. it's a bad example i'll cut that out all right <laughs> bye bye